Hello and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop, your one stop for co-op news, reviews, and playthroughs. This is Peter, and tonight we are playing through Lord of the Rings. We are playing through the Weather Hills expansion, which is in Angmar Awaken. What's up, Terrence? How's it going? Did you unmute me? I did unmute you, so hopefully nice. people can so hear you. I, I'm, I'm counting on it. Uh, things are going well, you know. Made it through another week, excited about playing more card games and... Uh, it's a little harder than last week, so we'll see how this goes. So, I just realized my cards are flipped down. Oh, I have to uh, sit down. I have to log in. What is going on? Why are you anonymous all of a sudden? I don't know. Why am I no just longer in the room? The, just refresh the, the page, I guess. All right. It says you're observing player one. Oh, my goodness. Well, we've started already, Terrence. <laughs> I can't get in. Where's the room? Uh, I sent it to you. Hold on. Let me... Or I sent it to you. Discord? I, I can send it back to you. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Did you log out? I think so. I don't know what's going on. So, anyway, let's talk about uh, Angmar Awakened. <laughs> what is going on? This is, uh, this is starting well. At least, hopefully, we have your audio this week. So, we got that going for us. Yeah, um, well, that's been an adventure before the stream, so. Yes. Okay. Looks like I'm back. Looks like I'm sitting down. I see, The funny part is, like, I could see my seat. I don't know why it, like, like, I see my cards and everything before I went away, and then I don't know if I was just away too long or whatever, but, um, yeah, it was gone. But it is back now. Can, back and better than ever. Cards. Um, nice. So, yeah. So, have you been playing anything lately? Uh, I haven't been playing a ton now. Um, just Lord of the Rings, uh, you know, run through this quest a little bit, um, made some tweaks to this deck. Uh, is my deck exactly the same? I didn't tweak your deck. I, I thought you were going to tweak it if you wanted to, but I also figured you would not tweak it. No, I did not tweak it. I haven't done anything. So, uh, I, I mean, you didn't, I guess you didn't even ask me for the link to the deck. So I, yeah, I did. No, I didn't. I had no, uh, no possible link. So is there more story from, so we did the campaign last time. Don't worry about it. If you missed it, it's fine. Honestly, I don't even remember what happened in the story myself. Uh, we, we, we chased the orcs, orcs were attacking the orcs were attacking in Bree village. We went and were chasing the orcs away to protect the Bree village. And then remember at the back of the quest card, the, I, uh, I, Iarian, the ranger. Yep. He left. said he had to go somewhere, yep. and then I remember someone in the chat said that place isn't a nice place. I've been there. Um, but he's going there to meet the other rangers um, and asked us to basically hunt the orcs down. Nice. So kind of what happened at the end, we, we talked about this a little, kind of what happened at the end of the first Lord of the Rings movie where they go, I guess the beginning of the second movie really, Twin Towers. Where they're like chasing the orcs down. We we are those people, except we are more than three of us, and we are not running on foot. Because let's be honest, I'm Rohan. So, <laughs> we well, yeah, I mean, you don't have your mounts out, so you're actually running on foot right now. Well, I have a horse breeder here, so that's probably a good sign of something to come. Um, well, I, I, I know you whiffed last time when you had twenty cards in your deck. <laughs> shut it, Terrence. Maybe you should put more horses in my deck. What do you think about that? Uh, I feel like they're not pivotal. To your deck, I feel like you just need more Rohan bodies <laughs> to throw at things. Yeah, I mean, at least I have a steward right now from the beginning, but I don't have the card that lets me um, draw more cards. So I don't know if this is a full reshuffle or or what here. I mean, you it, you take steward, right? I, I, I mean, do you, you don't have Horn of the Mark, you said? Yes. Um, okay, so... I have the shield I, I and the armor, in, though. I, I, I packed in another um, uh, side quest because there's a bunch more locations this time. Yep. Um, so you can see it here in the bottom in my player. Okay. So I get to pick one of these two. I assume you want Gather over Explore. Gather is the one where we get to pick a card, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Explore Secret Ways means when we travel to a active location... Um, every other location that shares the name of that location does not contribute their threat to the staging. 
Okay. Now, did you both of these are going in your deck, or are you only one of them goes one? in my deck, one of them comes into my hand? Yeah, yeah. No, start with the one where we get to get my horn, please, please, and thank you. Uh, so, for those who don't know, the horn lets me draw cards when I um, discard an ally, which pretty much happens every turn because of Lothriel. Uh, if Aramur's in play, she gains Rohan. After Lothriel commits to a quest, choose an ally in your hand. If that ally shares a trait with her, put that ally into play, exhausted, uh, and commit it to the quest. So basically, she gets to bring somebody in, but at the end of the phase, if the ally is still in play, you shuffle it into your deck. But when an ally leaves play, it doesn't just mean discarded, but leaves play for any reason, um, then she gets to draw a card with the horn. So you're really... Otherwise, you have real problems keeping enough cards in the game so that is why the horn is so important but let's talk about what this is scattered among the hills as you pursue the orcs the weather itself turns against you now you must contend with the elements while you hunt the enemy the first weather treachery card revealed each round gains surge oh that sounds like uh a lot of uh marvel it's champion terrible. stuff <laughs> It's terrible. You can you can see where you can see where the uh, I, I think part of the fun of this is you get to see kind of where some of these Marvel Champion things will come from. Yes. Yeah. So for those of you who are typically here for Marvel Champion Friday, like that's part of the cool stuff about this is we're actually getting to see, you know, the, the prequel basically to a lot of Marvel Champion stuff. All right. Forced after the active location is explored, reveal the top card of the orc deck and resolve it staging as if it was just revealed from the encounter deck so wait after the active location is explored every time oh man mm -hmm. this, so this so there aren't many enemies in the encounter deck there's only these like cornered orcs um in there most of the enemies are going to be in the second deck an orc deck um the orc deck uh How so this is like a mechanic yeah so you draw from that deck um using the where is it? The second encounter card? Deal fit from the encounter deck from the second encounter deck. Uh, sh uh, shift K. So is it normally K? No, it's normally E. And it, or not shift K. Uh, you can hit... Shift is... If you if you do shift, it deals it face down. Um, and then if you do, do E, it's face up. So shift K e. is... Shift E is face down. E is face up. So like if you reveal from the counter deck, if you want ah. to see it face up, it's E. And then if you want oh, to like, K is the so you like dealing, one. I see it. If you yeah, hold K down, is the second one, and then sh if you shift K, yeah. it's face so it's down, right? Top so. right here, E and K. Yeah. Now why wouldn't it be R, which is right next to E? Uh, probably because R is like refresh or something. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. All right. Anyways, uh, they picked a key, and that's what it is. All right. After the active location explored, reveal the location from the deck. Uh, wait, and resolve it as if it was just revealed from the encounter deck. Reveal the top two cards instead if there are three or more players in the game. So we just reveal mm -hmm. one when we explore the game. Yep. All right, so we're going to flip it. Uh, you pursued the remnants of the orc war party east from the borders of the Breland and into the wilderness beyond. Their trail climbs out of the lowlands and into the weathered hills. All right, so we're in the Weather Hills setup. Set the orc ambush and aim and form we already did that. aside. This is actually the first side. You see, it says 1A. I flipped it because there wasn't anything to do. Oh. Oh, so wait a minute. We I read that in the reverse order. Got it. Yes. <laughs> got started. It turns. makes more sense now. Yes. All right, uh, so we've got an exposed ridge here. So does that start as the active location every time? Yep. Uh, while exposed ridges the active location and gains forced at the end of the refresh phase each player deals one damage to a character they control well already yeah so so these weather cards are are no bueno um as you can imagine not only do they gain surge a lot of them will be doing damage to our characters and sometimes we get the choice to kind of pick how they damage um uh there is a nasty now, this is not, say, it's a weather card. Where do you see weather? What? No, I'm just saying in, in the deck, there will be weather cards. Oh, okay. Because there's the the weather hilltop. It says, after treasures revealed from Canada, place, like, a resource on it. And then on this one, the quest card, it says, after the first weather treachery specifically. So you get a non-weather treachery doesn't surge. 
it's just the, the weather treachery. But just um, once for any yeah. number of So, so I, I feel like this is better than an advanced goblin glider. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's just the first one, right? Um, so there'll be, there's a thing that like anyone who's damaged uh, will be blanked. Um, there is a, there are cards that will blank your character text box if you have damaged characters. So, well, we'll uh, just, just wait to see them when we see them, right? We can yeah. just uh, get focused um, so, on. So I did, I did bring some small amount of healing. Okay, well, that's probably good. In my deck. So, Hunting the Orcs. Forced. After an enemy is defeated, place a resource token here. Then, if there are at least X resource tokens here, flip the Hunting the Orcs. Then place each resource token that was on it, or on Savage Counterattack. X is three more than the number of players, so we need five. So, we got to defeat five Orcs. Yep. And, and then we flip know, so, this, and it's something else is going to happen. Yeah, so, so like, you'll notice the quest card has a line, a dash. So like in Hulk, he can't thwart. It means there is unlimited amount of progress we can put on this. It's not how we win. Um, we we progress this by uh, doing this hunting works. So, so we should probably like go for the protect out. the innocent then, just to get rid of those blood counters, right? I mean that or gather information that I'm gonna put out. Oh right, right. I forgot. You're gonna have another one. Um, so when do we put it here? After an attack damages any character, we put blood tokens there. And if yep. there are 10, we lose. So that's another side yep. quest. Um, so our I main assume objective this is just going to keep, keep coming with York. us. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Weathered Hilltop yeah. gets plus one threat for each resource token on it. Force after Weathered Treachery is revealed from the encounter deck, place a resource token on this. So this just gets worse and worse, this Weathered Hilltop. Yep. Um, yep. But we can... Explore, we can quest or whatever quest to it in the quest phase right yeah i mean you're gonna have or to make it the active it. yeah you have to travel to it um yeah uh yeah it, like we may not want to rush hunting the orcs but i mean in order to kill the orcs you kind of got to be ready so um we'll kind of see how it goes all right so let's go ahead and start our first resource phase so it's uh wait so i'm keeping this hand right with steward of gondor I think that's what you've decided. Yeah. All Unless right. you want so Demolion. We will shift N. Is that right? Yep. And you've started with plus two attack on your guys and minus one on the other. No, no, plus two, plus two will power. Will power. Right. Either draw a card or add a resource to a noble hero's pool. They'd win. So that's good. Yep. Uh, put you can even give me money could i mean that doesn't sound like what uh, a peter thing to do <laughs> uh, um but i would fine. if you need money all right so let's see um so set up oh i'm supposed to add two resources to him so that's one one um move one resource from him to somebody else oh that's right i can steward a gondor turn one yeah that's the so makes sense that Danthor should be able to become steward of gondor by himself because he is, he does have the steward trait. <laughs> so I put it on him because he's the one who's going to be passing resources out, right? Yeah, he he can give he can only give resources to um, Lotheriel actually. Wait, uh, why? She's the one that's gone. She's the only one Gondor traded. Oh, uh, so I can't. See. Well, Amor, we didn't need any of his resources last game anyway. Like. Although yeah, that's what the um, the errant riders are for—is to help you smooth out and and kind of so you, how, you, like. How do I? I, I feel like it's it? kind of how to what? How do I exhaust? You hit a. a, a. All right. Yep. So I, I just paid for it with two, and then I put two back on. That's the this card was always weird to me, right? Like, why does it pay for itself turn one? Like it seems. I don't know, ask, ask Nate French who designed the game. It seems way too good, right? Like, I don't know. I mean, it's super good, but on the flip side, like, game's still hard, you know? Like, even if you use the good card, so... Right, but uh, but that just means without it, it's freaking impossible, right? <laughs> um, So, is the Steward of Gondor my defender? He is, I guess, right? Yeah, he has three defense. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this Gondorian shield on him as well. Yep. Uh, which gives him two defense. Yeah, so he's up to five. 
Let's so do it. you want to go ahead and figure out how to do that? Uh, you hit uh, seven, I believe. Seven is shields, yes. There you go. Because I have the Gondor trait, right? Yes. Yep. Well, yes, it makes sense. So he was the steward. He was the a-hole from the movies, right? The one that yeah, he's on the burn Faramir. Yeah, he's trying to burn Faramir. While he was still alive. Yeah, that was no bueno. And he was going to jump on himself. At least he got that going for him. Oh, we got yep. Matthew Rose out there. Hey, Peter and Terrence. Hello, everyone. Hello, Matthew. Uh, have you guys played... All right. So I don't know if you have this issue, Terrence, but like on my phone, there's a little heart, you know, so you can like... There, there is a little heart now next to, this is new for me and it's very annoying like i can't like it blocks the text so i have to go like horizontal mode to get rid of the heart i hate it um have you guys heard that next friday there is a magic the gathering lord of the rings pre-release tournament um i, I have heard of this you have are you going like are you all are you all in i, on I, I don't I don't, I don't play magic so no but the cards look really cool uh uh, I mean, it's magic, right? They have like really good artists, and so there's some really neat looking cards uh, in this set. That set. So you know, Jerry bought some commander decks, which Did he is buy like, Lord of the Rings stuff. Yeah, Lord of the Rings commander decks, which are these like nice. hundred card decks where they're all unique, I believe. Um, but their uh, commander is also meant to be played in multiplayer, apparently. So maybe he yeah. will bring them to Gen Con. Are you going to play them? I mean. I, I think the only if they're cool, not sleeved because I, I hear they're very valuable. I I have very little interest in getting back into magic. I feel like that was like when I was fourteen, you know, and I've I've uh, moved past that economic model. Wow! Uh, in my wow. life, wow! You just made fun of everyone that likes magic ever. No, I mean I I think it's a really smart economic model. I just you know like I I feel like I got into LCGs and stuff for the exact reason. Like, I got sold onto LCGs because I wanted the board game expansion model instead, right? And not... Um, there's something really cool, I think, about the singles and kind of that whole virtual fake economy that they've created. Um, and people love that and opening the packs. And there's whole things you can do. And I think they've basically shown that it's really hard to do competitive games in LCG format. Right. Um, I mean, it's why, like, Star Wars Unlimited is... A TCG, right? Uh, well, I mean, it's part of the... You look at LCGs and people complain about the overpowered par cards and everybody's going to play them. Well, in LCG, everybody can have those cards, right? Which I guess is to some degree good and some degree bad. If there's too much balance and everybody can make the same deck... I mean, that's why I love Keyforge, right? For me, Keyforge is perfect because you can't craft a perfect deck. And I know for you, that's what you want. But for me, I love the random chaos of it. Um, yeah, I, I don't think TCG solved that problem because that's what the singles economy is, right? Like, well, if sure. there is a if there's a broken card that is super strong that they don't ban, then everyone who plays will get that card and you will see it, right? Like, yeah, I think I I, I think the problem with LCGs is over time they become expensive to buy into, right? Like, well, sure, like TCGs reset the cost of buying in every season, right? That makes um, sense. Well, and LCGs just get more and more expensive. You don't rotate out. And then I think people feel bad about an expandable game where your card pool <laughs> essentially becomes useless every year, right? Yeah, like, no, that makes sense. some cause them dissonance there. I mean, do you think you, they should do an LCG where they cycle like they do with... They, uh, they're trying to do that at the end, end of Netrunner. Um, I, I just don't know. It, they just didn't have it long enough. I think they waited too long to kind of do it and... I, I don't think they were able to explore that space. Um, right, cycling kind of with that stuff model. out. Yeah. Yeah, they, they were starting to kind of get into that, and they were doing drafting, and they were selling, like, drafting cubes and stuff. And so they're going, like, full on. I think it would have been successful, probably, because it's Netrunner. Right. But, uh, they lost the license, so that kind of was a moot point. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Matthew says, I'm going to play. Uh, speaking of economics, anyone can just jump in to a pre-release tournament. Um, yep. That's the benefit of it. So is, are you drafting or, well, I, I don't want to get into too much magic talk. It's a magic. I, I, I don't know if you and I know any of the answers to any of these questions anyway. So we just show our ignorance. Um, uh, well, that's why people come here. It's cause just to see our ignorance. I mean, let's be yeah, honest. Regardless, regardless of the game. I, I mean, I, uh, I, I show my ignorance every time I open my mouth. So uh, I, speaking of which, uh, I'm going to use Lothriel's, uh 
resource to go ahead and play my horse uh, trainer. Uh, after the breeder enters play, search the top 10 cards of your deck. So I'm going to do this. Look at the top 10. So I'm looking for a horse. Yep. Is a horse it's in the an attachment. 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 So if I just hit attachments. All right, I got a sword yep. in there. I got a horn of the mark in there. Armored destrier. It, is, it says mount. I have two. Do you have Firefoot? No, I don't. I have two Mark of the Horns, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, you'll shuffle it. Um, grab the Destrier. All right, so what do I do with it? Um, Put it in your hand. Add it to your hand. Blink. Yeah. Oh. I mean, that so always I feels good, right? You just, you, just, you just thin your deck. Um, so Sure, attach... then you can defend twice. So I put it on my Gondor dude, right? Yep. And I have to spend his two resources to do that. Bink, bink. And then we're good. Yeah, he's 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 got a shield. He's the steward and has a horse on opening turn. That feels great. Uh, yeah, steward is amazing. Shield. So he's five defense. This lets me then discard a shadow card from another enemy engaged with you. So. Yeah, no, I think we're ready to take on some bad guys because I also attack for five with Aomer, uh, assuming I use Lothriel's power, which certainly I will. Um, yeah, so all of that seems good, Terrence. I don't know about you, but I feel I feel pretty good about that start. Uh, go ahead. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to play a horse myself. Oh, I see. You have an armor destrier yourself. Uh, I'm going to play Entangling Nets because it seems good. And now, then... Entangling Nets is the one when an enemy comes out to get minus two attack and minus two defense. Seems real good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so whenever we clear this and an enemy pops out, we'll have that bonus. And so that'll be good for me to, like, potentially if it's a puny enemy, I could hold on to it. And then if I can get two, then I can um, get that extra resource. So you get resources from which character? Uh, a Martial, the the one on the left. Uh, so Martial will engage with at least one enemy. He gets a uh, he tactics gets resource tactics, icon, resource so I can icon. pay for both leadership and then tactics. Uh, and while you're engaged with at least two enemies, you get an additional resource. I got it. Yep. And you got that yeah, like so you, all you, webbed up card or whatever, which just keeps them webbed forever. Um, yeah, force, uh, force snare. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and, and that's all I'm gonna do this turn. I'm gonna I want to save. I don't see any resources on your characters except for I've, I have one on Gilran. So you spent one on entangling nets, right? Oh, you spent the yeah, other on I, your I, horse. Or yeah, I horse. I, ch I chose to put the entangling nets out instead of the Breland Protector. Devoted means I can use if all my heroes share the Dunedain trait or the Breach trait, then I can use any color to pay for it wait which one devoted the keyword which de which one has devoted keyword uh breland protector where is oh that's in your hand sorry yeah. uh oh devoted all right so you yes. all have the same yeah so i'll have duna dane which is one of her traits so i can use it to then pay off off color so what's duna dane i don't know any duna dane's like an aragorn like the the rangers of the north oh okay they do you like know any of, the... of these characters or are they made up characters or what's going on here what's uh gil rayan is aragorn's mom i think we said that last stream okay i am not familiar with thurindir or uh Marthiel. all right so if anybody in the chat knows let us know it sounds like matthew rose is pretty uh into the lore um all right so let's go Quickly back to Magic Lord of the Rings uh, pre-release tournament. They give you a box of six booster packs and a promo card, and you have to build your deck from random cards that you get. Uh, I'll be very sad if you do not play Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering. Well, I will play it, but I will be playing with Jerry's pre-con, um, whatchamacallit decks. Um, what are they called? Commander decks. Commander decks. I I'm actually excited about the Commander format, because it's... It's more chaotic. I, you know me. I like more chaotic. Like if every deck building game we ever played would have to just be played with one ofs, I'd be way happier. I know you like consistency. I'm the exact opposite. I like. Why don't you play more Adam Warlock then? I feel like. I would happily play more Adam Warlock. 
I am I am such a fan of utter chaos, um, and and making the best of the situation you're in. I don't know why. It's just my thing. Um, all right. So we are now questing, right? So we got to decide. We're going to go to gather information. I assume. That is my plan. Um, but you're first player, so you actually got to make that call. Yeah. So I'm gonna. So how do I? A. Q. 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 So Q puts her on the quest. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, can I do? No, no, no. Everybody else needs to either be there to to be there to attack because if we get rid of this location, we're gonna get a monster. Although you might want to engage it. Well, yeah, it depends on how beefy it is. If it's super beefy, then we'll kill it, right? Then I'll take. Um. It. Oh, my horse uh, rider the, can go though. Um. Well. Yeah. The. Yeah, and, and if I kill it, I also have um this proud hunters thing. Uh, which could be good. Play only if you control a unique character with a noble trait, another unique character with a ranger trait. So I I could I potentially use this to like get a bunch of resources to pay for more things, if I really need. Got well. it. All right, so I am going to put in uh, Thadwin to draw a card to help us quest. No, I I think I'm going to let you add a resource. Right? Do you want the resource? No, I I, I the only one will be Gil Rain. She'll have two next turn, so I would draw, take the card. All right. So D draws me a card. Yep. And I got mustering of Rohirrim. One cost. Search the top ten cards of your deck for one Rohan ally card. That seems Put it good. in your hand, then shuffle your deck. That seems good. Uh, especially since I could get they win again with it, <laughs> right? Because at the yep. end, um, I shuffle it back into my deck. So that seems good. Yep. And if a character leaves play, Aemer gets plus two attack, which is kind of... that. That's a cool synergy Terrence has created with this deck. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it's the obvious synergy. They're also married. So uh, I think they're meant to, to play off each other. <laughs> Amber and Lothario. Lothario, yeah. Lothario. That's why, like, she has the specific thing that if he is in play, she gains her on. Right. She actually comes from Gondor. She's a, Gond a noble Gondor uh, she character. She isn't and... actually in the movies, though, right? Is this like? I don't. She's she's definitely in. She's not made up. She's a real. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's like funny to talk about real uh, for fiction, but she she is in the canon of like actual lore. So he has a quote from the Two Towers. I am Aomer, son of Aemon, and I am called the third marshal of Rittermark. Yeah. Uh, she does not have a quote from the book. So she's... Uh, yeah, I think because her text, her like <laughs> card text takes up the entire box. It does. It does. All right. So I'm questing with three, four, five, six, which it shows up here. You're questing with seven, just with two characters, because they all get plus two, because that's a. Uh, Gildran's ability uh put yeah. minus two on her to put plus two on your other characters so boom boom you've got seven i've got six so right now we're plus 12 which seems good um but we still have to draw our two cards and it might surge uh but we yeah, do have, have to get cancel. past three here and four here so we need at least seven when all is said and done um yeah so we need seven so we hope five doesn't come out so d draw no d draws us a card e e E draws the enemy card. Oh, there's another location. Um, uh, did we shuffle this? Hold on. Uh, can you shuffle that back in? Actually, I think I just put that in the top. Oh, you pulled that. So, out. so, so that, that that's, that's the your campaign quest. card. No, no, that's the campaign card for uh, this this quest. So, right. in so, this quest, that card is part of the campaign. You're supposed to shuffle into the deck. And what's cool about it is if we defeat that side quest, um, we get some boons at the end. Hey, guess what? It's a weather. Quest. So guess what's about to happen? We're about to surge. Um, one revealed. Each, oh, and we put um, something on one of these. Damage points. on each arrow we control. No, don't, don't we do weather top hills? Uh, yeah, when yeah, weather yeah, treasure you... is revealed, place a resource yeah. token on it. So that gives it plus one to its... Is there a way to just put the badness counter on it? Uh, yeah, it's five, right? Yeah. So I'll get rid of the resource counter and just put a five on it. Awesome. Uh, one revealed. Each player deals one damage to a hero uh, to a hero he controls. Attached cold from Angmar 
to the current quest count as a condition attachment with the text treat each damage character's printed text box as if it were blank you told me about this so we have to give one of our characters um a damage oh, yeah. and then we're going to blank on. out their text box so i feel the best one to blank out is uh Deathor here because basically it just means he can't pass resources around but he's Denethor? but Denethor. he's also your defender Right, but he can still defend and do all that. Like, he doesn't blank out his cards, right? It just blanks him out. Yeah, he'll just have two health. That's what I mean. Oh. I mean, it's fine. I'm just saying, like, that is the consequence of damaging him because it's direct. And damage is three. I'm doing it. Uh, so does this go away? Or do we keep this in play? Oh, no, it says attached to something. Yeah, it attaches to this gather information because it's the current quest. Which is fine. I, it, it will go away if we basically progress past this quest. Oh, it attaches to this quest itself. Yep. The current quest that we're mm -hmm. questing on. Got it. All right. Yep. So E draws another one? Yeah. Card number one. Oh, wait, why is it down here? Oh, that's engaged. Uh, you, you, you moved it. Okay. Apparently. Uh, so this is a two. While well, Shattered Valley is the active location, it gets response when Shattered Valley or Sheltered Valley is explored. Heal all damage from one character. Travel, remove a resource token from the mission objective, which doesn't matter at all, right? Or do we have to be able to do that? We have to be able to do it. So we have cannot, to quest can, the yeah, main one before we can travel here. No, no. The this is the mission objective, so we have to have counters on it. Oh, we have to kill somebody first. Yeah, you have to kill something for him. So we can't travel here until we kill him. Until we kill some stuff. All right, go ahead and hit your E. I know it doesn't matter uh, who hits it. But. Yeah, it doesn't matter who hits it. All right, so we, you got to hit you twice because we got Doom twice. Oh, for me also. So you, you. Yeah. So my Doom goes up to 28. Yours is at 29. Uh, one reveal. Remove each damage character oh, from the quest. Mine's not on the quest. Yours is. Yeah. Wait, you just added one point to him. No, I'm trying to. Yeah. Oh, so you still are exhausted, but you're just not on the quest anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But it's uh, fine. But that's we it. still we, we discard still... that, right? Yeah. Oh, we're actually one short. That feels bad. Should have damaged Gil Ran, actually. My bad. Well, you didn't know it was coming, right? Uh, I I knew. I know of I. I played it and I knew it was coming. Not that. All it right. Was that so we do have five points there. though. So we get rid of this this garbage. Yep. And we when we get rid of this at the refresh phase, each deals a damage. So when we get rid of this, we draw from deck two, which is K. Yep. Now we do have two more points of progress, right? Yep. So we do put two on your side quest. So we're actually two short. Oh no no, no because yeah, I, but drew I would have my, my enemy. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, we're too short anyway. You, you drew this, right? Reveal Concealed War Camp. Yeah, Concealed War Camp. Well, Concealed War Camp is the active location. Oh, so this is not necessarily an enemy. No, it can be. It, can, it has enemy. It, most of the enemies are in this deck, but there are things that aren't enemies as well. So it's the active location that gains response. When Concealed War Camp is explored, place one resource token on the mission objective. Oh, so we still progress. Uh, yep. Travel. The first player searches the encounter deck and discard pile from an orc enemy and puts it in play. All right. So I think we do this. This is... Do we go to the... Well, camp? you, you got to resolve the rest of your quest stuff. So Thadewind goes back in your deck. Oh, so we do that now. So... Yeah, because right. Is there a way to do after. that? Do I right click? No. How you do just I... just hit H. H. H sends her back and shuffles her in, right? Mm-hmm. So now... You can see in the bottom right in the log. He's plus two attack. Um, but I don't draw a card because I don't have the horn. Yep. So that's the end of what I'm doing. So now yep. we, we do our Now travel. we can travel if you want. Okay, so we can't travel to this one because we don't have a progress. We can travel to this and it'll bring out an orc, which I think is what we do. Or do we do weathered hills? We had, This goes up by one, actually, right? What does? Because we resolved, we resolved two, didn't we? Weather effects. Or just no, one. just the one. Just the one here. Um, two. 
Uh, freeze, freezing blast was another one. Wait, where? In the discard. That's oh, cool. okay. You are correct. So we actually are short one progress here. So it goes down one even more. Yeah. So we, we only got one of four. So do we get rid of this weathered hilltop, which seems terrible? It's either that or you take the enemy. I don't mind taking the enemy, but like I also feel like weathered hilltops just gonna keep getting worse. And we're gonna have to quest more every turn. You I mean you also still have to clear five to get through it, is the other thing. Yes, it's so not it's easy. What do you th I don't know, I'm gonna let you pick because I'll kill the enemy. I mean I'm I'm set to kill an enemy here. Do you get anything for killing the enemy? Nah, it just progresses us. That's it. Uh, then yeah, we probably do Weather Hilltop, right? Because it sucks. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Now, does that automatically remove the? Yep. So now there's only four, and it's threatened the staging. Should we keep those counters on it? Technically. Which ones? The yeah, counters that it gets do. for weather. Yeah, because like if you potentially swap it or something, right? Like it would still oh, okay, have but and it'll still keep getting those counters as well as yes. we move along. Yep. All right. Yep. So, yes, that wasn't great. Got to be honest, Terrence. One of the great uh, happens, first right? So shift N. Yep. That readies us. That gets us resources. That draws us a card. Escort from Edoras. Now I am blanked right now, so I can't pass resources to her. So I can't even. How much does that help you? What, the escort? The resources. Oh, I don't know. While you committed know. to a quest, gets plus two. Oh, no, 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 I'm just playing them for my hand. No, oh, I'm playing blanked. Dune Dane Remedy. Right. Dune Dane Remedy. Here, I solved your problem. I'm first player. I get to play first. No, 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 no. Actually, I, doubt, I don't need that extra resource, the more I think about it. I mean, I'm going to heal you for one. Yes. Because I played Dindane Remedy. Okay. And then you can pay one to move it. I could pay one what? To move what? Resource. On the hero it's on. But I don't know that card. I need it. Like I said, because Escort from Edoras, they go away at the end of the turn anyway. They're discarded. So there's no reason not to just use it with Lothriel. You know what I mean? No, I, I'm saying that I'm going to heal you, and then you can pay one to move it to heal someone else. That's what my attachment does. Oh. Oh. The signal that I just played on your character. Ah. You, you can mouse over to read it. Yes. Pay one resource from attach hero to attach it to somebody else. Oh, and we could just keep passing this around? Yes. that's This is my healing card. It costs money. Okay. But, so but, I'll spend like, did, one like, pass but, it to your but, character. But, you know, Denith, Denethor's like rich right so i feel yeah, like he doesn't go ahead and, and pass it to uh thundrill yeah and then the next time we need to move it we can if we have the money we can pay for it right so i think i pay for this card oh well you're first uh what are you thinking well i was thinking i was gonna pay search the top 10 cards of your deck for a rohan ally card and add it to your hand but that doesn't matter right now I'm definitely doing Escort from Edoras because that's four points for the quest. Seems real good. So it doesn't even matter what I find. So maybe I don't do that. Because Edmund's pretty good too. Because then I can quest everybody and then ready everybody. You know what I mean? After he leaves play, ready all Rohan characters. Which yeah. is everyone in my deck. So, mm -hmm. so actually playing him for my hand seems pretty good. I almost want to play... Yeah, but you more characters at the table. Right? Yep. So what's this green one? I can't even pay, play this character except by... You have to discard, discard something. So put her into play from your hand, then discard a Rohan or Gondor ally. But that's like... So I could get rid of my horse trainer to put her in. Yeah, or you get rid of like something that you put in for free, right? Wait, I could do that at any point? Oh, any action window. Yeah, so it'd be after the quest phase, but you could do it like after the quest phase before it shuffles in. Like you could have done that with uh the last character you put in. Then discard a Rohan yeah, ally. Yeah, so you would have discarded it so I'd have before to... they shuffled in. 
exhaust her to heal two damage from a character. I mean, but she'd be a good quester. So wait, so I could have discarded that last card instead of shuffling her into the deck. Now, here's the thing, though. I have now Escort from Edoras, so can I discard him? Because I would discard him anyway. No. Well, then you wouldn't get the quest points, right? Like, it has to be before he gets discarded. But he gets discarded once the quest resolves. So once you've resolved the quest phase, the quest, not the quest phase, the quest points, oh. he gets discarded, right? Because that's what his effect is. So what you're saying is I could have done it last turn, and there's literally no difference except I would have had to discard that card. I mean, yeah, you could wreck on that. I'm yeah, I'm going to wreck on it. So what was the card that I'm searching for? And how do I search? Fade when. So I do this. You browse and then browse. You can go to allies. Or you can type it in. Ally or all. T H E. Well, yeah, that, I have to that should get you far up. enough, right? Turn them all face up. T H E O. Fade yeah. when. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to discard Thade win. I'm going to shuffle it all in, and that will let me... Um, I would have put in the Morrowind, whatever. So after a Rohan or Gondor ally leaves play, I could exhaust her to either heal two damage from her character or reduce her threat by one. Or I could just quest with her, which seems better right now. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So retconning that... Um... All right, let's do it. Where are we going? You're, so you're I don't know if it, I, don't, I don't know if it's worth doing this Dunedain Hunter. What is it? I can. He's like a. Um, what's her face? The zero cost, Angela. She's like he's like Angela. Oh, he brings an enemy. So in? Yeah. Oh, Bree Protector. Darn, is that what you're looking at? Dunedain Hunter. Oh, the last Hunter. card. Uh, after doing eight hunters, search top five cards of the encounter deck for a non-unique enemy. Well, that's the encounter deck, not the second encounter deck, right? Yeah, so there there's not... there's there there might not be. There's a few, but they are all puny. But they, that means uh, they'll also get this stupid entangling nets, right? With no, because which... that's staging. This puts it in play with me. Oh yeah, go for it, man. Well, unless uh, you don't it think could, you it could, kill it, it, it could also just whiff. Like, like that's also and then you thing, get right? rid of them i mean it's it has the same effect either way right like anytime you play it it could just whiff yeah but I, also i yeah i don't think it's worth it yet um just because i also want to quest with a uh, martial and i don't know if i want to be defending with gil rain without her yep shield. yeah no we want to quest hard this turn um, yeah all right so your turn what are you, are you playing right. nothing? uh I'm going to play the Bree Protector, I think. I mean, two extra attack for nothing. Seems good. Well, it also has the shadow thing, right? Uh, so Exhauster to cancel the shadow effect just trigger during attack and deal the attacking enemy another shadow card. So he seals no yeah, damage. so like if there's like a really bad one, we can use it to cancel. Or not cancel, but draw, draw another one. Oh, so if the... But if the enemy does no damage, then you have to return the protector to your hand. And That's fine. I'm, it's like usually better than losing a hero or something, right? I mean, so yes, for sure. All right, so you're done. Uh, yep. So it's my turn. Yep. All right, so I am going to. Oh, I'm looking at your hand right now. I'm like I'm not playing any of that crap. Uh, escort no. So mustering search the top ten cards. Should I just pay for that now? Or should I... No, I'm going to hold off and maybe get Edmund. Although Edmund's good to just play also. So I don't know. Eh, I don't need to do mustering right now. Let me save my resources. So I'm not paying anything either. All right. Quest? Yep. So we going after the same one? Yeah, I assume so. I yep. assume you want your card, so... So... Lothriel's questing, Morrowind, this one, and we will bring in the escort from Edoras. And I got to add two quest points, which is... That's a five. Five, five. So I'm 10, you're seven, so we're 17. We're plus 13 right now. That's where we're last time. Terrence, you shut your cornhole. 
No, I understand. That's where we were last time, but, you know, All we right. lost four e. from my thing. One revealed. Raise each player's threat Ooh. by the... Oh, so the... oh, so that's why we get to keep it on, too. So the actual location is three, so you three times? Mm-hmm. Seems not great. Uh, is that a weather? No. Nope. It's not. And then we just discard it? Yep. Oh. All right, hit E. Second card. I refuse You to can hit it. E, man. No, I refuse. <laughs> it's your luck. One reveal. To sign X damage among characters committed to the quest. X is the number of characters committed to the quest. So we don't want them each to take one, right? Because that's... So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Oh, but if we put it on escort, how does that work? You lose the four. So we well, that's do... fine, because if you lose four, we still pass. So this is the second. Oh, no, there's one more card, right? Well, hold on. We got to do five and three more. So how many do we need to do? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, Wait, that was the yeah. second card. Oh, no, but it's a weather. No, but this it's, it's going to surge. Um, oh, and we got to add one to what? This one, Hilltop? I think you put two on Lethereal for sure, right? I mean, okay. Because uh, you don't care that she's blank right now. She already did her thing. The kind of funny thing is that if you played someone that was not Escort, they wouldn't actually leave play right now. I mean, anybody with any amount of hit points is what you're saying? No, no, no. Just because, like, uh, he's going to discard regardless of what happens because of the resolve effect. Right. But um, she uh, specifically... Uh, Oh, they would stay in play. I see what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, because her end of the phase thing doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, because right? she's blank now. I got gotcha. you. She's blank. Uh, the Which horse breeder, funny. I can't put it on. I could put one on Morrowind. Uh, it's hard to heal her, so I don't know if you would do that. Um, I can put... I mean, we have four more to put on. Are you going to put two and two? Or three and one? I mean, that seems terrible. I mean, so how much up are we? We need eight. So we're up by five. But we are, and we are adding one. And we're adding one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because this is going to surge. Do we put counters on anything else, or is it literally just the Weather Hilltop that gets one? Weather Hilltop just gets one. All right. So we need four more. I put out two. I mean, do you want to put two uh, on two on yours and just pass back and forth that? healing thing yeah i just can't defend i guess the remedy what do you mean you can't defend yep. well they'll have one hit point you don't worry about defending i'm gonna pull in any baddies that happen right now uh all right all right so we're good uh so we do need sure. to draw another one e i'll do it oh Corner Dork. After Corner Dork engages a player and makes an immediate attack. Now, does it get this entangled? It nest? does. So you so want do to I take it? this one. Oops. Because it's got nothing, right? Zero yep. attack. Zero defense. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is, that thing I was take... this is the thing I was worried. This is the thing I was worried about. What are you worried about? Oh, because it gets a shadow card. I guess let's get a shadow card. But we have fine. a defender here with Gil Raiden, and she has zero hit points. Right? Yeah, he's going he's gonna to attack twice. What? He's attacking twice. Well, then you block also with your Breed Protector and hope that the shadow card's nothing good. All right. Um, I mean, you have a Protector, right? Isn't they? So we gather, right? Um... So wait a minute. All right. So we get past mm -hmm. the weathered hilltop. Yeah. How do you discard a card yeah. again? X. Okay. And then we this goes to Vic. This gets detached and goes away. And then this goes to victory with V. Okay. And how do you detach? Get, by the way, D. No, I just click on it. And it's like the top thing. Oh, okay. Detach. Uh, so now uh, we do have to hit K to draw an orc. 
Yes. All right. So this one I'll pull in front of me. One ability either is, discard an ally is from it, play. It or... is it is resolve off the top. Oh right? wait, 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 hold yeah. on, hold on. I got to get rid of this escort. So let me discard that. So wait, is that X or is yeah, it D? X. X. So X discards it to its deck. Got yep. it. Uh, so wait, what is this? You have to discard an ally, reveal another encounter card. Yeah, no, I'll get rid of the horse breeder. What do I care? Right? I did her job. Yeah, I mean, she got me a horse. She didn't get me the horse I wanted. And and and, and quested twice. Yeah, for two. Like, who cares? All right, so I'm going to get the orc in the optional engagement step. Right? Yep. Wait, no, come to me. Wait, where's your... Uh, wait, wait, no, do you want travel? Oh, yeah, we do that no. first. No, I don't want to go concealed. I don't want a second enemy. Remove a resource token from the mission, which we can't. Yeah. Concealed or camp would give us another enemy. And that I would don't, definitely don't to go to you, because I'm only allowed to optionally engage one. Actually, well, it, it comes into play. It, it, it forces it me to take it. Like, it's not even you can engage him. He comes Oh, yeah, we'll do that next turn. Do we want to try? Oh, we can't travel to the other location. So we're literally stuck no. right here. We can't do either of these. I mean, it's fine. There's only four, right? All right, but I do ready here. All right. So he is a minus two, minus two. So I got that going for me. Um, you so shift, sh shift S. What does that do? Gives shadow cards. Ah. Shift S. Are you just going to kill that right, stupid thing? I, uh, I deal one damage to defending character. It sucks. Um, oh, the blank should text box. Oh. No, they're not blank anymore because we. Oh, we got rid of we that. We cleared the bus. Yeah. But you can just pass I, that healing thing around. Uh, I think I'd defend here, and if it comes, if it's bad, I just re. Oh, he attacks for zero though, so I might as well just do this, right? Do what? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Attack with the ally. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. And it's a, a location. Nothing. Yeah, we're good. All right. Well, you're good. Are you gonna? You're not gonna kill him though. Well, you gotta do your defense first. Oh, right, right, right. Um, so yeah, I defend with my defender. So that's what? A? No. Yeah, A. A, exhaust. And yeah. then we flip this to see what it is. Nothing. Uh, so he's attacking me for two. I defend for five. And then do I get to ready yeah. this? Yeah, you can ready. So I could attack with and him then, for one extra. Yeah. But I yeah, oh, I do need. need it, actually. Yeah, you only hit for six with uh, all of them, everyone. Well, so I hit for three plus two more is five because the character left play. Six, so that's exactly enough. Yeah, and then we put a progress resource token on hunting the orcs. Got it. Yep, and then ready up. Uh, so that's control or shift in. Yep. And that also adds our threat, right? So we're yep. 33. Oh, guess what I just got? Yeah. What's up? Rod of the Stewart. Nice. I didn't know when oh, I... Oh, wait. I forgot to search for my thing. Oh, I didn't search for a thing either. So wait, I'm looking uh, for a horn, right? Yep. Horn. Uh, I was like, I think I'm missing something. So browse. Turn face up. All... And horn. Yeah, no, horn's ridiculous for this deck. Shuffle it back in. I get that in my hand. All right. So the horn says when a character leaves play, so it doesn't even have to go to my discard or whatever. Horn of the mock. All right. So we're all done. Did we, we already drew our resources for the next turn, too. Oh, that's where I got yeah, the yeah. route of the steward. Got it. Uh, so yep. I'm going to put the rod on my Sewer to Gondor. Yeah, because it's not even a uh, restricted, right? 
Yeah. So I do have two restricted right now between the shield and my horse, though. All right. Well, I'll at least pay to move this. Uh, are you going to use her to heal? Well, hold on. Yes, of course. So, oh, but you, you, you can just use... Uh, so wait, don't we automatically heal when you move over? Yeah, but you can also use more ween, yes. right? More when? Yeah, to heal to people. Heal too? Yeah, so don't pass to me. Unless, well, well, no, I could heal you, right? Oh, yeah, you can just heal. Rohan or Gondor, do you have any of those? You don't, so don't pass it to me. No, it says exhaust her to heal two damage from a character. It could be any character. Oh, right? so yeah, pass it to me. The ally that has to leave has to be Rohan or Gondor. Right, so pass it to me. I'll go down. Then I'll pay a resource to pass it to one of your characters. Let's keep, not keep attaching it, please. Uh, so how do we do this? Uh, Detach. Wait, how? You just click on the card itself and hit detach. Oh, ah, I got it. All right, so now I'm passing it back to... Which one do you want to heal? Um. Well, somebody with a resource, obvious, right? So here? Probably a Marthial, right? Oh, not G uh. Gildren or whatever? All right. Well, I need the two from her to pay for her gift of insight. All right, so Marthial's getting it. So I can I'm gonna heal Thurdrin with Thurndir. Thurndir with Morween. Yeah. yeah. Morween. Um that sounds right. Uh let's see. Yep. And do you need it on something? I mean, if you send it back to me, I'll just send it back to you again if you want. Okay. You send it back to Lothriel. Sure. Um, All right. I I, you're not back. paying any. You're, you're not paying any. Any. Stop attaching any it. Spirit. <laughs> I heard that's a resource. Um. No, it's fine. I don't need to. Okay. Um. Oh, right, so one I of the mark I lose then though. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, yeah you can't send it back. I can't send it back. So don't send it to me then. Unless it's you fine. want to. Well, you can you can pay to give her a oh, resource. Oh, yeah, that's work. right. I'll give her a resource. Never mind. I'll pay from here. Yeah, I do All send right. it back. Sorry? Uh, so, I just, so I should just full up heal Amarthiel, right? Sure. I can't I can't move it again, but that's okay. Why is Amarthiel up two damage still? Did you just forget that? Because I didn't heal him yet. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, I spent one, that's right, from Denethir, who could give a resource to Lothriel, and then, yeah, I got Horn of the Mark on Lothriel. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's expensive, but, uh, it's better than no healing. <laughs> I mean, it's not that expensive, honestly. I mean, it is when, uh, like, for instance, the Warden of Healing, that's a Gondor lore character, is two cost, and you can exhaust him to heal one damage off two characters. Yeah, by the way, I'm attacking with everyone this turn. Or, or questing. questing with everybody because I got... Well, De Denethor's in Rohan. Just keep that in mind. Wait, what? Denethor is not Rohan. He's the only character you have that's not Rohan. Oh, well, then I'm not doing him because he's my only defender, right? And we're definitely going to the camp this turn. So, yeah, I'm not going with him. But armor is yeah. restricted, restricted and I can't put it on now can i put this armor on any character oh i can put it on your characters oh but it's got to be a noble and like that is very very gil very... rain is noble noble is actually a very good trait like a not i would say like 30 percent of the heroes are noble wait which characters yeah but she's My... noble but she's not um whatchamacallit Oh, or noble, or noble. Yeah, it's or. It's or. So I could give it to either of your characters, and go range your defender. So I will definitely yep. give it to you when I get my fifty-seven. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna exhaust my Gondor thing right now to get two more, because it's ridiculous. So next turn I will be able to give it to you. Yeah. So then she'll be like a, a seven defender or something, right? Yeah. Seems nice. good. Yeah. All right. So let's keep going. Um, Quests. So, yeah, 
commit people to the quest. So I don't want to commit that one, but Q, 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 and we'll go ahead and put Edmund in play. And Q with Edmund. And is that is that your dad, Aomer? I am named Aomer, son of Aomond. No, this Spot, is a different right. Amund. This is Amund, not Aomund. Oh. It's E O M U N D. And this is E O E O M. A oh, it is. It is Amund. Yeah. Oh, you're correct. Yeah. I am so sorry. Yes. I'm questing my dad. What's up, peeps? Um. Yep. So I'm done with my questing. Nice. I only have eight points. Oh, I oh, wait, do I want to heal? Hold on. That's a question. So I uh, have to... You probably do want to heal. So then I'm only six. That's fine. What are we questing? We, we don't need to make progress. We're just putting progress on Protect the Innocent, right? Well, so... no, we're removing blood from... Yeah, that's what I mean. We're, yeah. we're like not... If we don't clear it, it's like fine, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so um, we're at 10 e. total progress to six. Yep. All right, so E... Yeah. When is explored, raise each player oh, dude, that's by terrible. two. I mean, this whole terrible. thing has been terrible. Second one, Weathertop Hills gets plus one for each resource token on it. Yeah, we got to get rid of that Weathertop Hills crap again. Um, Unless you want to go the concealed or camp. So we have six progress. So we're yep. just... So we clear all of it. We're done. Uh, oh, did you... Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, no, it's after an attack. Thank God. Okay, so I got to. Uh, it means the weather stuff. effects don't put damage on Protect the Innocent. I was scared for a second because that would be really mean. Wait, where? Uh, remember how like when we take damage on characters, you put damage on Protect the Innocent. Oh, yeah. it, it it's attack. So like those treacheries aren't going to put damage counters because that would be oh, really heinous. Yeah, yeah, no, I I get what you're saying now. All right, so Protect the Innocent is cleared for now. And we don't have any reason to put progress on Scattered Among the Hills, right? So we really have nothing to quest for at this point. But so do we just do Concealed Ore Camp? Just to get, or we get rid of the Weathered Hilltop before it gets bad. Yeah. But, but I can take Concealed Ore Camp this turn. All right, so let me do my stuff. So I X to get rid of No, him. no, he oh. shuffles, shuffles. You're right. Put him back, shuffle, H. How do I just shuffle it? Oh, I don't know. Oh. You're like, I don't do dumb stuff like you just did. Okay. Yep. So now I ready up my guys. Oh, somebody I mean, If you're going to rave on... Hold on. Because we didn't have an active, did we, right? No, we didn't have an active. Well, no, we took so cards I... off of Protect the Innocent. Yeah, but we didn't have an active location to reveal Nork. Right. So I wonder if you just take concealed or camp. Well, hold just on. Because you have a, yeah. yeah. You well, hold on. Dude, I'm right, doing right? this to heal my dude. To heal your dude too. Let's do one thing good. at a time, and I get to draw a card for Horn of the Mark, right? Yep. Oh, yep. another escort, which is freaking great. Um. Well, if we needed questing, which we don't really in this one, so we need to kill orcs. So I think we do take hidden orc camp, right? Yeah, it's going to get us two, because when we clear it, we get... You kill the orc, we get one, and then when we clear it, we get another one. Did and we then forget an orc to do will come out. Pass? Did we forget to get one? No, no, we, I put the one. See the one resource on hunting? But but we don't get it now. No, we do when you kill the orc this turn. Wait, why? The first To travel here, the first player searches the deck for a discard from that. orc, and you're going to kill him. So we'll get another one. Wait, why do we get one? The second one. Uh, when we explore the location, we get another one. But I thought next that's turn. where I'm adding the first one from, is concealed. Work no, no, we're, we're going right, to get an enemy. Next turn, we get one. Not yeah. this turn. No. So this turn, we're just getting one. Yeah, for the that, orc. Yeah, that's why I was slaughter. confused. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and find a, a wimpy orc for me. Or is one it, that I... Is it the encounter deck? Um, encounter deck and discard pile. Oh, we could take from the discard pile. Why don't we take that? Yeah, the only one, one that 
is it is it put into play? Um, it or puts it, it into play. Okay, so I, I think don't want the want one that, that attacks one. when he gets put into play for sure. Where's the orc that you killed? Did you not put in the discard pile? Did I not hit X? Where is it? Is it in B? Oh, is it in the other one? It is in the other one. Oh, it has its own separate discard pile? Yeah. Uh... So Matthew Rose says, if I pull the one ring, I will vomit my lunch. I think it's uh, only in the boxes. So Matthew is very boxes. excited about Lord of the Rings. Uh, Ma- Magic Gathering Lord of the Rings. There you go. All right, you found my orc? Mm-hmm. So there's a different discard pile. Are we allowed to search that one or no? Do I, have to take- it's, I think it's not supposed to go back to it. But let me read the answer. To whether it goes to the main one or that one. Yeah, so if you all have any questions or anything else, any comments about this mission specifically, go ahead and ask. Or about Lord of the Rings in general, if you're here for the normal Marvel content that we do, um, and you're just learning about Lord of the Rings, or if you want to ask about dragon cards itself, um, because Terrence and I have very different thoughts on dragon cards. (laughs) Go ahead and ask those Um, questions. Um, Yeah. Uh, Do you want to steal shadow cards? Wait. Oh, yeah. So shift S, right? Yep. All right. Uh, How much do you... Should I look up... Should I look at your first players? You go first. Do you... Oh, wait, Mike. Do I mind taking the second one? Is that what you're asking? Do you want... Yeah, do you want me to look at yours first, and then if it's not bad, give you the second one? Yeah, Or do you want me to do that on mine? That's fine. You can do it on mine. Attacking enemy gets plus one. So he's in for three right now. And I have five defense. So go ahead and add a second. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, because I'm defending, right? I have to de- declare that. Well, we get to look at it first before you declare, but yes. Okay. Well, but not this one. We don't get to look at. So yes. No. So he's attacking for two, three. Yep. Oh, it's not revealed. That's why we're not. Okay. I get it. All right, and then we'll flip this one. Uh oh, gets plus one, so that's still fine. Yep. Um, yeah, because I then defend ready. For five. Yep. So I get to ready, and I do I unready my horse? Is that what how this works? Yeah, you exhaust your horse. Um, and I'll defend here. Hopefully, it's not too bad. It's nothing. Weather hilltop. That feels good. Doesn't feel bad. That's for sure. Um, all right, all right. And so now I just back. kill him. Uh, I mean, Amber can do it. By you have himself. seven. No, I can't. He's only one short. Oh, you're right. You're right. I forgot. Um, but oh, that's right. I got this one too. There you go. So X to discard it, and then what gets rid of him? Control it. Shift X. Yeah, Shift X. Gets rid of all the shadow cards. Yep. And then the shift N gets us to the next round, right? Yep. So yeah, I'm at 34. You're at 34. That doesn't seem great. Why are you the same? No. Oh, you're at 35. Not at 35 because I I read it after. Oh, you have Uh, to shift N also. That's why. Um, the but we're oh we get get a second at the end of this, and we need five, right? Yeah, we need five. Once we get to five, is there a lot more after that, or? Once we get to five, we'll go to the next quest card. How many quests? Which is the last one. Oh, okay. There's only two. All right. All right. Um, I'm first player. So I think I will spend the one to put out this guy. Oh, wait. No. I will spend the two to put out my air. And I'm engaged with one enemy. So I'll use it to reduce the cost and pay for this, I guess. I mean, why not? Might as well. I mean, more questing is never bad. Although the 
questing is not really the thing here. I think the thing that questing helps. Well, us we've, we've been managing the locations and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we've gotten a lot of locations. Um, I think that's it for well, me. You're gonna need unless because I don't do great. Oh, did you healed your person too? Yeah. Do you want me to heal? What's her name? Potentially, uh, I, I do. I did replace the, over, the right at one point. The remedy. Yeah, I hadn't sent it over. I have it on a Martial right now, um, okay. but I wanted to put in the era of Valendil to get the discount. I mean, I guess stuff. the the thing is, we lose two questing for me to heal, which isn't the worst thing in the world. But which honestly, all we need is to get two. <laughs> you know, like we just have to clear the active. There's nothing. We oh, don't yeah. have any quests we need to progress on, so yeah, it's not. So there's no reason for me not to heal, is what you're saying. Yeah, I think so. Oh well, is well actually there is. Is there a reason for me to add a character to the questing? I mean, I guess it replaces itself. Yeah, it depends if you want to cycle your deck. I guess it is more of the. So we're still on your turn. So you go ahead and finish, and then we'll. No, I, I'm done. I I think that's all I'm okay. going to do. All right. So do you want me to put the armor on her? For four, no, I won't say no. Okay. So I'll spend the four, which is only really two and Steward of Gondor, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, eh, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, four. Who needs four? Um. For Rohan es escort, escort, I don't need. Faint is always good to keep in your hand, for sure. Faint's always great. All right, I'm going to spend one from Denethor to finally go ahead and muster of Gondor. Uh, Rohan. Or, muster, muster of Rohan. Rohan. Mustering of Rohirrim is really what it's called if you like care about that. Read the, read the text title. All right, so I'm looking for an ally. So I get the Lancers, quest successfully, discard and choose a non-unique enemy in the staging area, deal two damage, that doesn't matter. Horse Breeder could potentially get me my horse, they would win, lets me draw a card or get a resource. Uh, Elf Helm, uh, after your threat is raised as a result of questing unsuccessfully or by an encounter card, reduce the threat by one. Uh, or I've got Aeothian, which is after Rohan Ally is discarded from play by a card effect, ready. Well, that doesn't matter. I think I'm going to get the Horse Breeder, right? Or do I do Theodwin to draw a card, to draw a second card? That's up to you. Um, I mean, Firefoot would be nice, I guess, so maybe the Horse Breeder. All right, we're doing a Horse Breeder, because we don't need you the just, extra you, quest. Thing. Yeah, and you can just... Well, you can just hard pay her, right? I don't want to, want. I think I'm going to put her into... Because don't forget, I want people to leave play so I have better attack. And we're getting uh, an enemy this turn, right? So I want yep. that plus two attack. So even though yep. it doesn't make sense, it triggers my horn. It, like, I didn't want a great I, card. I mean, it. it makes sense because you want yeah. to trigger your stuff. Right. If you I don't just have want else. to trigger my stuff. So that's, that's the only reason I'm literally care at all about this. So I did pay one from Denethir to do that. Denethir, that resource went to Lothriel, and then Lothriel paid the one. Um, all right, so questing time. Um, yep. I mean, we could do this simultaneous, right? Doing the horse breeder, getting 10, or searching the top 10 cards. Ah! Hit my eyeball. That's not what I wanted. Turn face up. Yeah, I almost feel like you don't want to overquest because there's that treachery card that does damage, right? No, no, I'm just doing the two people. Should I not quest with um? Hold on, Misty. What am I Mountain looking Journeyman? for? Attachment, right? I have zero attachments. Wait, top ten. Why are they only looking at four? What is going on here? Did you hit top ten? Hold on. I think I did my questing. I think I messed. And up. you looked at your discard pile. I think I looked at my discard. So I did it from the wrong pile. Uh, so hold on. So first thing first, let's shuffle. How do I not look at this? Stop looking. Eyeball. Go away. Turn face up. Not all. Just the top 10. And then from those top 10, let's look at attachments. There we go. All right. Ooh, Firefoot. Seems good. Yeah. 
All right, so now I shuffle them all back in. So what is Firefoot? I don't even know. Uh, attached to a Rohan. Firefoot's Amor's horse. Tachiro gets plus one or plus two if it's Aomer. Tachiro attacks alone, exhausted. To choose a non-unique enemy engaged with you, excess damage dealt by it goes that enemy. Oh, yeah. All that it's is like good. overkill, right? It's like cost two. Yeah, you can't play it though because we're in questing. That's the benefit of playing that during planning is you could have played it, but you want to trigger the other stuff. So I mean, you just get it next yeah, turn. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll get it next turn. I mean, I'm going to get plus two attack anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. So we are questing here, so we got to hit E. Couple times, right? Uh, I was like, "Do I quest with Misty?" So that puts it at five questing. I feel that like should be fine, right? Because because yeah. that gets us at eight over, and yeah. we definitely really want to clear it. So well, yeah, we don't want to have to go a whole another turn not clearing it. All right, all right. I hit E by the way. So cornered orc, cornered orc engages the player. It makes an immediate attack. Whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that means I won't be able to heal you this turn though, because I'll Why have not? to defend with Morrowind, right? Oh, no, no that's right. You have, you have, Dennis, you have the Death Rider. Yeah. Although we're going to get sure. another enemy, at least. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. This, this is not great. And you don't have two defenders, do you? I have Breland Protector if we need it. You, don't you have a feint? Didn't you pull a feint? I did pull a feint. You're right. Yep. But that only removes one attack? Yeah, one attack. All right, uh, so we did clear it by two over. So two uh, goes so on the main? Okay. Yeah, one goes on the main. I thought two. No, one for this. We're going to get another one when we kill. We could you potentially, if you over. kill. Two go to here. Yeah, but, the, but this. Will, yeah, the main just doesn't matter. Well, that's what I'm saying, but we're two over, so I'm doing it right. All right. So get rid of that, but now we draw another orc. Okay. Yep. Either discard an ally from play or reveal an additional encounter card. Oh. So you can just discard the Westfold Horse Breeder. Is that how that works? And we're still in questing, right? We haven't traveled or anything. Right. Yeah. So X discards. So instead yep. of shuffling her in, I discard. Is the only yep. negative, which is not that much of a negative. And um, you got you got your horse out of it. <laughs> I mean, and I still now job. get to um, Horn of the Mark, right? Yep. To draw a card. And I got another West Foil horse breeder. So. There we go. Lots of horse breeders, um, which I don't need. I mean, you need them to because you want to draw a Firefoot, right? And it's Whoa. a 10, 10 card like search. So. so these are all coming to us this turn. Yeah, so do I take... So that's three attacks. So I can defend twice, three times. I mean, I'm clearly taking one of these jobbers, right? So he attacks yeah. me immediately, so I'll defend. Shift S. 25. So no, actually, no, no. How do I these... just give him a shadow card? I highlight over him and hit S. S? Yes. Okay. So he's defending. Going to flip it. Plus one attack. Nine. Um. So... Are you healing Gil Rayan, right? That's where you're doing Morween. Is that true or no? I mean, do we need? I was thinking about defending with Morween now, and that way you, I can faint on you. Well, you can't. You you can. Oh, because you want to kill? No, you can kill him. No, I got to get Amor. two of these bad boys. You can't. You can only optional one. I'm first player, so I'm actually getting. Wait, are you them. first player? Oh no, I am first player. Yes. Oh, oh no, that's right. I thought I was first player. I'm sorry, dude. So actually, technically, that should have been your whatever. So do you want me to heal you now then? I'm sorry. I thought I had two coming in front of me. I was like, oh, I'll just use the extra defense. No, I, I, I yeah, I think I'm going to have an extra in front of me. Well, then hold so on. I I should, well, I have to take this. You can't take five attacks or whatever. So I had to take this one. Right? Wait, we're, we're each. This is an optional, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, I Reach optionally op engage. Oh, no, no, you don't optionally engage, and then I get a second one. Oh, yeah, you do get a second one. Yeah, so you don't optionally get... engage, and I don't heal you. But then, I... but then you're going to you're gonna take... 
Oh no, you're gonna get no. Angmar I got Morween and I've got Denethir to defend. Yeah, he's higher, so you're gonna get Angmar Orc. Oh wait, no. No, you, you get the optional. So yeah, I, I get, get a stupid Angmar another orc. corner so you, orc. Can you handle four attacks? I can handle three, and I'm just gonna take the damage on the fourth and just pray to God, right? I got a four yep. damage character. Hopefully, it doesn't do more than four. Oh, uh, that's uh, Ammer. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. I mean, it does um, two. Hopefully, it doesn't get a plus. I I can I can look at the shadow card too, right? And we don't have to give it another one. So you can if it's if it's a basically yeah. So nothing, you look at you... one of them. Yep. And um yeah. So let's do that. All right. Yep, okay. so I get the second orc, so hold on. He's going to attack, and I'll use the Morrowind to defend. Oh, because I did okay. use my horse to ready. So I'm going to use Morrowind to defend that. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, do you get to discard that then, right? Because they both... Oh, wait, no, they both No, no I'll get to discard in a minute. You're right. That'll be really good. Um, When Denethir blocks the first one... Yeah, so the second one won't even have one. So it'll literally just be two damage for sure. Right? Wait, 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 wait. You defended this and you need to use... You defended the first one with more, more with, wing? With Denethir and I use Armored Destrier to ready myself. But then you have to discard... You have to discard that Shadow card now? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it is. When... It's oh, when you're ready. But I didn't him, already just... have this one in front of me because as soon as he engaged me, which was my optional engagement, I had to yeah, defend that's what against I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, so I don't get that discard. So yes, no. it's just a wasted discard. Yeah. All right, so you're defending this one. So I'm defending Morrowind. this one with Morrowind. With Morrowind. Yeah. So let's flip it. Defending player either raises his threat by three, their attack is considered undefended. Well, I feel like you can't take that undefended, right? This is terrible. Well, you can actually because it's, it's only, only two. two. You could put you could put two on Lothariel. I could put two on anybody. Although, do they have those questing cards when you're questing take damage cards? Bullcrap. Because I'd rather put it on Denethir then, because he never quests, right? Yeah, but he needs to defend again. But if he's defending stuff for five. That, like, Right, but there's shadow cards I can say like deal the defending character damage. I mean, losing Lethereal is way worse for my deck, right? Well, maybe not. Well, she's not going to die. It's just two damage. I know, but if there's that card that gives every character who quested one damage, that's terrible. I guess next time. Yeah, but I'll I'll have Remedy. Yeah, Yeah. I have Remedy. Oops. I quested. (laughs) All right. Uh, Yeah. So that's two damage. Fine. I treat it as undefended. All right. And then shift S. That's terrible, Terrence. What's up with these shadow cards? Can't you discard those somehow? Uh, All right. So which one do you want me? You flip whichever one you want, I guess, to see. All right. We'll do the second one. So you're peeking. Gets plus one attack. Um, But it's just plus one. So Amro will survive. Yep. So it's fine. So I don't defend that one. All okay. right, but you defend first, so go ahead. Uh, I'll defend the two with this person. So you're defending Nothing. this first? Yep, and then I'll defend this one. Who defended? Uh, Gil Ran. Oh, okay. Oh, with her 27 defense. Yep. Six defense, to be exact. And plus two life. Jeez. Are yeah. you using your protector? Oh, I mean, you have to. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, I could use my protect. I just, I can't kill this other one, right? So there's no point in trying to kill it. I mean, the most so. you can do is three. I guess you could do plus two. So you could do five. If but I have to take it, it undefended. It still doesn't kill it, right? No, five would not kill it. Which feels super sad. But you'll be able to kill it way easier next turn. Yeah. I would still probably do the two and take undefended. Because it's undefended for zero attack right now. 
You're yeah. Just praying I, it's nothing bad. I mean, I don't know. You know the card pool better than I do. Plus two. Two damage. You only have on one damage Durandir. character. Oh, yeah. Um, so should one. I just stack it on Gilrayan? Because then more win yep. could heal yeah, it at some point. Or do I just do Thurndir to pass the thing around? I mean, that's the other option. I have plenty of resources, so I'm not too worried about it. All right. All right, where are you at? I did my defenses, so you need to do yours. All right, so first one is being defended here. Let's flip this card. Of course, assign X damage among characters you control. X is the number of quest cards in play. So two? That's two. Yeah. So I'm going to put him on Denethir. Wait, I thought you are fainting someone, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. Well, I can faint this next one. Because that would be three damage undefended. Yeah. That would all yep. go on Amur. So, yeah, I'll just faint that one, right? Yeah, so you can just put two somewhere. Yeah, I'll put two here. And he has plenty of resources because he's Steward of Gondor, right? So, like, yep. he'll easily be able to pass that stuff around. And, yes, you're correct. I should definitely faint this next one. So, for one, faint. So, all right. And then attack just, backs for me as first player, I'll do two damage. two damage, which feels sad, but whatever it is what it is. Um, and I can kill one of these, so it doesn't matter which one, I guess. Yeah, so we'll kill this one. All right. All right. Shift X. Shift X. Yep. And then shift N. Shift N. But we both have to shift N. Yep. Wait, why is runes of? Never mind. That was just like all on the side of my screen. All right. All right. So, Matthew. Uh, so you killed one, right? So we get a progress on hunting orcs. Is that true? So we got Stacy H out there as well. Um, welcome. Uh, Stacy's asking how Matthew's in two places at once. So I don't know where else Matthew is. Um, everywhere apparently yeah yeah so welcome stacy welcome welcome matthew uh all right uh there's two so we're at four because you killed one right and we got one from clearing the uh quest or the uh correct location. so we're one short did, right did you travel oh we forgot to travel weather hilltop well we're definitely traveling right yeah. Weather Hilltop, yes. Yeah, there's zero reason not to travel. We forgot to do it. Unless you don't want an enemy. That that'd be the reason to not travel. Um I mean we could it's keep fine. requesting under five. No, that's fine. All right. We good? I mean, I definitely don't want more enemies right now, do you? <laughs> like No. Um Oh, well, I'm gonna ready all Rohan characters actually, so I don't mind. Oh wait, it's your turn. Um So I'm first player. Yeah. Oh, we're only at thirty five and thirty six? That's not as bad as I thought it was. Okay. Uh all right, so I'm giving you Dunde and Remedy on whoever you want. Well hold on. Let me first steward a Gondor. That makes the most sense. Um, well, actually, I'm going to give it to myself first, so I can just heal this off. Okay, and then you have the resource to get rid of it? Yeah, and I'm giving it back. I'll give it to my other character, too. All right, so you're spending and the two you resources? Yep. And then I'm going to spend two off of this dude to heal the two, and one off of her. So it'll go to him first. He'll pass it to her, she'll pass it back, and then she'll get it back, right? So it'll end up on her. Does that make sense? Yep. And neither of them have any damage. So it went to him first, healed one, he passed it to her, healed one, she passed it back, healed one. So she had to spend one resource. He's had to spend two because he passed it back. She ends up with it, but all damage healed. Okay, that seemed worthwhile. By the way, I'm buying a horse. 
Did Seems I mention? Good. It, it, it's time. You know, for that horse would have been great last turn. It would have been great last actually, turn if you I could have you killed them both. <laughs> Shut it, Terrence. All right. Uh, I am actually now going to spend Denethir is going to pass a resource to Lothriel, and then she's going to use it to put that horse breeder back in play. Uh, I'll search to just mill your deck. I mean, partially, but partially to get her in play. There are no horses in the top 10, which is fine. But it just, like, I don't know. I don't. Oh, did, I did not draw a card last turn uh, when my ally left play. Did I? I don't know. I don't think you did. I don't think I did. Oh, no, I got the horse breeder when the ally left play. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think I did, but it's fine. Um, I mean, I guess the other question is, do I put escort in at some point? Not right now, but just as a jumper. Like legitimate jumper, one damage. Like... No, we, we'll we we'll want we'll want questing once we get to the next phase. Okay. We need like twenty quest points, so oh, okay. we actually do want the questing. All right, so we just got to clear as many of these freaking schemes as possible to get there. Yeah. All right, so I am done. Are you? Oh, that was first player. So your turn, Terrence. Why don't you talk your way through your turn, um, and I will be Are you right taking back. a break. Well, I'm gonna go. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go fill up my drink. All right. So I'm gonna use Air Valendil, which says as planning action, I can exhaust Air Valendil, reduce the cost next to Dune Ally. I play for each enemy engaged with. I'm engaged with two, so that means I can put in Thalion uh, for two. So I'll spend those two and put that into play. And I think that is it for me um so that yeah so that's it for planning and i just kind of have to contend with both of these uh yeah who's this turn and then we're on to the quest phase um while we'll wait for peter um so how's everyone doing tonight uh People enjoying the Lord of the Rings over Marvel Champions. Do people want to see us continue through this whole campaign um, while we kind of wait out for more Marvel Champions content to land uh, out in August? Um, how are folks enjoying Dragon Cards um, versus Tabletop Simulator? I hate it. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we... Uh... <laughs> You're not the peanut gallery. You got to type that in. Got to type it into the chat so it's recorded forever. Yes. I hate it. Uh, no, I I, uh, I put in Thalion, also known as alternate Caleb Grace, um, for two because I have two enemies engaged with me, so I can reduce it by two. Which nice. feels good. Yeah. Um, and so Hit Hill, we do have that side quest in the victory display, so he will ready uh, during the combat phase every turn. So that's also good. Yeah, it seems good to get a free blocker for two or a free two extra damage whenever you need it. Yep. Yep. And just the two questing points just because. Yeah, especially if I have the zero attack enemy in front of me. Yeah, right, so when you have quest? plenty of resources, like that card that's passing stuff around to heal us is pretty ridiculous. I don't have plenty of resources for what that's worth. <laughs> I mean, I have plenty of resources. It, it it hurts me in the early game to have paid like four money to heal that turn. <laughs> you know, like it, it was just like, oh, I can't. It's more important to heal than to play this thing. Yeah, but you got to kill the, uh, the orc. So there is that. I mean, you only had to heal two. I'm the one who did most of the healing here. Let's be honest. I guess I only paid three. You paid two. I paid three. But I will. I have it on me, so I'm gonna have to pay next. Um. All right. Questing. Um. Yeah. So I'm questing for twelve. Yeah, I'm just gonna quest with Lothiriel again, just so I can cycle a card, right? Yep. Should I not quest for twelve? I think not, because I gotta do Edmund, which is gonna ready all my characters. So I may as well quest with a bunch, right? Well, I, I'm just worried about that treachery card. Or do I not quest at all? But then my attack is no bueno. I mean, it's still five, actually. So I'm plus yeah, two, five. period, right? So I should just add yeah. that. So tab, yeah. that's a six. It's a six, yeah. All right. 
So I'm just always at five, and do I get anything else? After attacks here, attacks alone, exhausted, choose a non-unique enemy. Oh, that's the overkill thing. Yeah, um, so if you had two corner orcs, like last turn, you and you had Aomer, you could kill one, and then two overkill would kill the other one. Oh, because it's just damage. It goes past their defense. Yeah, it's just damage, yeah. Well, it may happen this turn, so let's not counter chickens. So that's the only real benefit. Oh, but if after character leaves play... So I could just yeah, jump then, the, the horse breeder to have yeah, a character exactly. leave play, right? It does put a damage on the Protect the Innocent, but yes. I mean, yeah, we'll just quest that next time. I mean, I'm not that worried about it, right? Are you? Uh, uh, and how does horn work? Would I leave yeah, you play? you can trigger horn because it's yeah. leaves play. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All this seems good. All right. So I'm good. I'm just questing with my my three. Right. I'm short on cards right now. I, I think I keep forgetting to draw cards, but it's fine. Uh, so, E, we ready? Yep. Yep. Uh, so, after when revealed effects of a treachery card is canceled, raise each player's threat by two. All right, whatever. Uh, e again. Oh, great. When ancient causeway is explored, raise each it's, player's threat yeah, by it's, two. It's that crappy one. Don't we have two of well, those? We do. Yeah. Uh, on the plus side, we make exactly five, so we clear this. I mean, I guess that's good. Uh, so K. And then, yeah, K, draw a new orc. Uh, and then we put a progress on here, and we flip it. Oh, immediately. Oh, no, no, we don't. We have to kill him. We have to kill an orc first. Never mind. Yeah, we got to oh, Wait, is it first. only when we kill orcs? Yeah, it's when we kill orcs. So have we messed up? No, no, we got one because we killed Orc round one. One at the beginning, Next, we got the and quest. And then the third, the third round, we traveled and got another Orc that way, right? And then the fourth round, which was last yeah, round. Yeah, I killed one. That's right. Yep. We, get, we got one and you killed one. So we're up to four, and so we just need to kill one more. Yep. Okay, so this does triggers one revealed. So are you going to discard your horse breeder, I guess? Okay, yep. And that gives me my plus attack. So that's fine. And and you get and I get to draw a card. So let's not forget that this time. Ah, Westfold Lancer. Never a bad. Yep. Uh do you want travel as ruins of Arnor? Oh yeah, we do have to pick. Sheltered Valley or Ruins of Arnor? Uh do you want to I mean I guess we can remove We're killing if you want. two, right? Yeah. Or we're killing three. If you if you're doing it this turn, then you should do it now. Oh, I can't. I can't kill this uh, orc. Can are you killing yours? You're killing yours, right? I don't have to kill mine. Or do you want to kill yours this turn? I mean, I can. I. Yeah, I'm only I killing kill one of mine this turn. Unfortunately, I'm one short. Oh no! I can make a second attack. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait! Don't you do seven against that? three i do damage, seven against do four the six four dude. four overkill kills it oh seven against the three dude for overkill yes i'm killing two so yes we will definitely travel to the location that removes one so wait hold on yep. we have to go shelter valley right yeah remove one goes down to three because we can't get more than five on here right so it actually doesn't benefit so you don't anyone. want to kill yours now is what you're saying uh, I can kill it. I don't need the extra resource because um, it's fine. I'll just play. Uh, All right, well, shift us. Proud right? hunters to get to. Yeah, shift us. All right, are you looking at any of yours, or can you do that after I deal with my stuff, or what? What's the deal? Do you, do you care? Want, do you want me to take the extra? What's going? Uh, on? It doesn't matter to me. Well, I'll take the extra. All right, so I'm defending here against the first one. Slip that. It's a nothing. It's a location. Um, so I unready my or I ready my horse to unready this. Oh, that gets rid of this card. Right? Yep. Yep. Hey, for the first time ever. I actually did something. Uh alright. And then I'll defend against this dude with this dude here. Yep. Oh no, because he could heal somebody. There's nobody to heal, right? Uh you you sh yeah you you can only do that when an ally leaves play. 
Well, Ally left play a while ago, but yes. I mean, you just defend with Denethor, right? Like, he has another five defense, and the Aramor can kill them both. So why would you not defend with your Because it literally defense? doesn't matter, so that's why more. Oh, when an Ally left play, what else could I have done? Heal two you damage? Can reduce your threat. Or reduce your threat by one. Oh, I should have done that, right? Yeah. But I didn't know. Did I know? Yeah, because it was when this one was revealed is when I discarded. So I yep. definitely knew. So how do I un... Drop my threat. You just, just you just go up and click right. hit the arrow. I think not that it matters. I, mean, I don't but... know what the hotkey is, but is it only me? Yeah, your threat. It's your threat specifically. Okay, so I'm done my defense. Go ahead and do yours. Um, the zero attack will be defended by Thalion. Okay, he takes a damage. Boo. I can send him the I mean, thing. Oh, but he doesn't have a resource to keep sending it around. He's not a hero, so he can't get it. Yeah. So the only way for him to heal would be uh, Morwen, I guess. Is she noble? Is he noble? Wait. No, no, no. The, her ability when oh, he she, he can, she can heal any. It's only when... Because it, it's a character, yeah. Yeah. All right. So there's one. Uh, so your main blocker is blocking this next one. Assign X damage. So two character. quest cards, two damage. So I just give that to people that I will spend money off of, right? I mean, give one to Thalen, because I'm going to heal him next turn anyway, right? Yeah. And then it doesn't... Yeah, whoever is going to have your most money sitting around, give it to them, because I'll pass you the herb this turn, and then it'll be sitting around for next... You know, yeah. for you to pass it later. Yeah. Right? Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. We're good. All right. And yep. So now time to attack. And yep. as you said, when I attack by myself, so I'm plus two attack, so I'm five attack, and then I get plus two more because the character left play, so I'm seven attack. We're attacking this one over here, so one armor, two life, and because he attacked alone, uh, I get overkill basically. And it's even yep. better than overkill because it goes past armor, so it's great. Well, there there is no defense in um, Marvel Champions. For enemies. Yeah, to be fair. Yes. All right. So there's three of my seven go here. And then my other four go on this armored one. But yep. he only needs three. So also discarded. Feels good, Which right? Which means we get two questing points here. So before you get to attack, we, yep, it flips. we flip this. Which is weird. Does it always do that even in Marvel Champions? I guess it does in mid-turn. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's... Uh, so then if there are at least X tokens here, flip hunting the orcs and place each resource token that it has on savage counter attack. Oh, actually, huh? Do you huh. not want that? No, it's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. Savage counter attack. Uh, after savage counter attack enters play, advance to stage two a. So how do we do that? Uh, just hit X on the card on the quest card. Okay, cornered and do we, should I? Which one should I read first? Just to read the flavor text, I guess. All right, uh, you've hunted the orcs to their secret gathering place in the northern edge of Weathered Hills, the old Dunedain border fort of Amon Fran. With nowhere left to run, the orcs turn and fight with desperate savagery. When revealed, end the current phase. Oh, so you can't attack. Mm-hmm. Shuffle the encounter discard pile and orc deck into the encounter deck. Reveal orc ambush and ammon fron and add them to the staging area. So how do we combine these decks? All right. Um, do you not know? No, I'm opening it. So we get the encounter discard pile here, right? I'm shuffling into the deck. Yes? Yes. The... Is this what it said? So it okay. said... Uh, shuffle the encounter discard pile and the orc deck. I'm assuming all the discards are supposed to be together based on this statement. Yep. Into the encounter deck. Yep. So you did that. And then we have to search for orc ambush and Amon Fron. A M O N. F R O N and put them to the staging area. 
What do I, what do I need to do? Orc ambush. Oh, that's that terrible side quest. And Aemon Fron. All right, let me find Aemon Fron. A M O N. Aemon Fron. Oh, is that set aside? Actually. Oh yes, those are the two set aside cards from the beginning. Orc uh, ambush. They're not in there. This this terrible card. Our good friend. All right. Well, we'll read that in a minute. And Eamon Fron. Oh, that's the location? Yep. Okay. Uh, and put him in the staging. All right, we're going to flip this. Already weary from days of travel through harsh weather, you're hard-pressed to match the orc's ferocity. You must rally your men or see them fall. Each damage character gets minus one to their questing. Uh, well, we'll deal with that in a minute force response at the beginning of the quest phase either discard a resource token from savage counter attack which has five on it which is good or reveal an additional encounter card this phase players defeat the stage you win the game so we have five on it so forced after an enemy attacks and destroys a character discard a resource token from this so only if it you chump basically there are no resource mm -hmm. tokens here. The players lose the game. What? Mm -hmm. And there's no way. So to it's a resource that you can use to basically that. prevent from getting an extra encounter card. Yeah. But if you chump, you're screwed. Like they just go away automatically. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's see. And there's obviously there's obviously things that might remove it, like those locations we saw. Yeah, I forgot about those. All right, several orcs spring upon you from their hiding spaces. Their surprise attack puts you on the defensive. You must fight to gain the upper hand. Each orc enemy gets, oh no, plus one attack, uh -huh. plus one threat, and plus one defense. When revealed, each player must search the encounter deck and discard pile for an orc enemy and put it into play and engage with them. Shuffle the encounter deck. Wow. I vote these guys. Just because they have the crappy one reveal effects. Okay. I mean, you're putting something in front of you, so go for it. I'm going to shift X to get rid of those. Oh my gosh, Terrence. You're, and there's, wait. Yeah, because this isn't Marvel Champions. I can't even attack this stuff in front of you. Nope. And I can't pull it. So you're just on your own over there. Yep. Okay. Uh, one revealed each player must search the encounter deck. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah. Oh my it's gosh. End, this one end has, of the phase. This one has four threat on it and six travel. Immune to player effects. While Emron Fron is the active location, it gains force. After an orc enemy is added to the staging area, it makes an immediate attack against the first player. Players cannot uh, win yep. while it's in play. That's when it's in the staging area, though, which it's not right now. Active. When it's active. Yeah, yeah. But it's still adding four threat right now. We're up to 12. Oh, my gosh. Terrence, this went from bad to worse. Well, we got to get rid of Orc Ambush. The, so, so as a point, this is what I'm saying uh, when I, I say that, like, Lord of the Rings, I feel like, really changes stuff between each quest card. Like, like I feel like it just ramped, you know, like, in a very different way. I mean, to be fair, Marvel process. Champions, we'll, we'll talk about it afterward, although we can't stay up all night, and we're only halfway through this quest, so um, let's keep it moving. But yeah, we'll talk a little bit about the difference afterwards. So shift N. Uh, let me just steward a Gondor real quick, just because, yes. Um, all right. So I feel like we got to quest and get rid of this orc ambush garbage. Like, that is... That's got to go, right? Yep. Uh, I got open the armory action. Search top 10 cards of your deck for a weapon or armor, which, by the way, I still don't have a weapon. And add it to your hand. Goothwine is the weapon you want. Yeah, I mean, I feel like any weapon at this point would be really good. But, yeah, if there's a specific one. Um, yeah, because then Aomer will attack even better by himself. 
Now you can do some orc killing. Although I can't kill your orcs because he's not ranged. That's correct. Um, you are first player though, so let's go ahead and go through your stuff first. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a Dunedain ally because they would get a three discount right now, which feels really good. Um, you do have a sword. You can kill stuff. Yep. Um, I wonder where I put it on, though. Do I just put it on in Martial? I mean, how about Thalen? It has to be a hero. Thalen. Sorry. It has to either it has to be a hero, so it'd be like Thurindir or something. Doesn't But he's my quester and he doesn't ready. Yeah. So it's either Martial. Or Martial. I mean It's either Marth yeah. Gilrain Martheo, is your right? defender. Like Martheo is your attacker, right? I feel like it's not How much is in the victory display? How do we see the victory display? Few shared. Bitch play just has one right now. It'll have two once we get Orc Ambush. Yeah, we need to get rid of that Orc Ambush bullcrap. Okay. Um, and then I put Shining Shield. Wait, wait, wait. Did Thalen took damage, so we got to put a damage on Protect the Innocent, by the way. Yes. All right. So there's that. All right, man. What are you doing? Uh, I play Shining Shield, and that's it. All right. More defense? What are you up to, 57 at this point? All right. Seven. Uh, do, so you want me to send the healing over to you, right? So you don't lose one questing or whatever it is? Yeah, that'd be nice, I guess. Right. Um, though I do have to defend with three attacks next turn. So hold on. Here you go. It's attached here, and take your damage. Oh, I'll take it off for you. Do you? You don't need it. No. So it no, just no. stays there. So I will heal, um, Thalen this turn with Morrowind yep. Steel Sheen. Um. Oh, oh I have a faint. You're welcome. That feels good for you, right? I do. I also have a faint. Yeah. Well, because then you could put extra cards on that character too. So what? What's the benefit of adding extra cards? So which character does that? Extra cards. Yeah, looking at the card and then adding an extra one. Wh who does that? Oh, that's Gilran. So I can turn a shadow card on any enemy face up, and then I can deal one additional face up card. Oh. Let you draw. Uh, that's the benefit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wait, you didn't attach do, the weapon? Uh, no, I'm just wondering, do I put... Is it better to put Destrier out so I could defend twice with a Martial? Well, it's free to put that weapon out. Why, why are we... What are we talking well, about? Well, it's restricted. Oh. Do you think it's better to have more defense for all these things in front of me? Who are you going to put it on? The only person I can put it on is a Martial. I don't have anyone else with Sentinel. I think I just put the weapon out. Yeah, you definitely put the weapon out because we have two feints. So this turn, don't worry about defending. Just kill the crap out of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not worried clear about defending. Ambush. I got double five defense with a three life character. So I'm yeah, we, we just we just got to clear this uh, orc ambush, right? Well, that's what I'm saying. You don't worry about that. You quest like crazy this turn. I will quest yeah. with, um, wait, so are you done? Yeah, go for it. Um, so actually, I could put out Westfold Lancer this turn, which is two more questing. Oh, I have to discard it, though. I mean, if no enemy comes out, you don't discard it, right? If Westfold Lancer quests successfully, discard it to choose a non-unique enemy in the state. Oh, I don't have to do that. Yeah, so he yeah, gets a response. Yeah, so, all right, so I'm going to spend one resource from Denethir and two from Ammer to put that in play. That's two extra questing, which seems good. Um, Wait, one resource from Denethir? How do you do that? How much Denethir is it cost? Denethir takes one away and adds it to any other character, right? 
No, it can only be Lothariel and Denethor. So I can't play that. All right, so that's not useful. So I could and you, put, and you need a and you need a tactic to pay for the faint if you want to pay it for it. So I could put AM into play then. That's still too questing. I'm not going to get the after they leave play effect, but I think that's fine, right? Oh, I can't pay for that either. I only I'm one short. Son of a gun. So do I spend two to... I'm going to spend two to draw a card. With my... Yep. Rod. Hey. Hey. Did she get something good? Firefoot. <laughs> do I spend two more? I mean, no, right? It's up to you. Uh, um, I'm going to... I'm going to... Are, give... are you, are you, are you, are you going to search for ten cards to get your weapon? What do you mean? Oh, oh. Don't you open the armory? Oh, jeez. So, hold on. Yeah. I mean, you probably should have done that first. I should have done that first. I, I did not realize. So, I'll spend one from Denethir to do that. Open the armory. Search top ten cards. for It's an attachment, right? Yeah, it has to be weapon or armor traded. So, I got Horn, I got Stuart, and I got Armored Destrier. So, none of them, nope. right? Shuffle them back in. All right. So now I'm one more resource down. I'm still going to give a resource over to Lothriel this turn. Um, okay. I mean, I just feel like he's going to get three resources next turn. Unless I get something really weird. Um, okay. So I'm done. Quest. So the question now is, do I go with Aomond and then really go for questing this turn or do i go with escort from edoras for two extra i think i go escort this turn right yeah you go escort all right so it gives me two extra do where quests. any of our i feel like we have six test wills in these in between these two decks and i haven't seen any of them i don't know what that is the cancel treachery card i mean canceling treachery is good so i'm only seven because i'm healing you right yeah, so unfortunately, I'm only seven to questing. You're 11? Yep. We're plus six right now. So, which does get rid of that location, but would does not, not clear that. It's not going to clear the ambush. It's fine. I, I You don't have to heal Thali in this turn. Do you want me to go two more? Yeah, I think we just do two more. I mean, that's all I can do, though. So, we're plus eight. It's still not going to be enough. But at least it probably will get rid of Sheltered Valley. I would hope. But we'll see. Yeah. All right. Yeah. E. That's ah, weather. So it surges, right? Or is that only on the first stage? It's on the first stage. Okay. So it doesn't. Yeah. Surge. Like, I, I think thematically, like, the first stage, you're traveling to the weather hilltop. And so you have to deal with the weather cards, basically. It's so a hero. And they what? Uh, each player deals one damage to a hero he controls. Each cold yeah, okay. or attached cold from Magmar to the current quest. Oh, you blank. So basically, it just blanks them. We're not just getting blank. rid of this this turn. Oh I mean, man, we're, we're we're eight up, so we might. So I, I won't. Be, I, I'll, I'll do it on the one that won't be able to move resources anymore. Yeah, that's okay. Um, you already did it this turn, so. Yeah, well, I, I'm glad I did it a turn before I needed to. Uh, that way I could put Ammon yeah. in. Um, but right. yeah, I don't want to get rid of my plus two attack, right? Like, I feel like that's yeah. not the right one. And certainly I can't get rid of Lothriel ability. She's like, oh. Surge. So we'll look at that location in a minute. So we're six up. So we're not getting it. Well, we'll get the, main, the, the one side scheme, but we'll only put two on the quest. Out of the four it needs. Uh, so what's this one? After one revealed effect of a treachery card is canceled, raise each player's threat by two. Yeah. So, so which would be four because we have two of them. And what's this location? After omens becomes a current quest, each player discards 
a random card from their hand. When a Mysterious Omens is defeated, remove it from the campaign pool. Then each player may choose one of the following boons and attach it to a hero they control. So this is like, if we're kicking butt, like, do this, right? Yeah, I think you want to because those boons are really good. So this is like, this is very much the campaign aspect of it. You get this, like, choice in the game. Is that attach immediately? Yep. Or at the end of the quest? And it says when... So we it says so, but we got to get, get rid of now. this orc ambush first, right? Yeah, I and think orc ambush is party. hard after mysterious omens. Potentially, yeah. I, I think I think we still have time with our threat level to do it. Okay. So oh wait, wait wait oh wait before you're done, do you want to reveal an additional encounter card? Or do we want to remove a token? So wait, we're not adding orcs when we go to quests now either, right? No, no, they're in the deck. So they will come out when they come out. Um, I say remove a token this turn. Yeah, just to get the staging area under control. I mean, yeah, we just there's too much shit out there, or, uh, stuff out there. Uh, yeah. All right. So now we do get to heal all damage from a character. So should I just do that on Thalion? All damage. That's what it says. All damage from one character. I already did. So we get to pick. So I think he's the one that we pick, and then we pass the remedy around, right? Yeah, for one... Or no, there's only one character that's... Oh, no, that's right. I forgot. Uh, I can literally know. give... I can... We can... It's an action. It's action speed to heal, so I can actually pay to heal Gilrayan and put that on Denethor this turn. I mean, I don't need him to be cleared, but if you want to do it now, go for it. Um, all right, so we cleared that location. Uh, okay, yep. Um, I will do that. And I will spend the one because I don't need it. We'll just attach it back to your character. Oh, no, that's right. It ends up you, on you, you can't afford it. You can't yeah, afford it. Because I have zero. But I do heal, so let's do that. And there's no point in moving it if there's no damage. Well, right, so. of course. But it just um, means the next turn off to spend it, but it doesn't matter because I'll have plenty of resources. Yeah, your Papa, uh, <laughs> Papa Stewart, a god. Dude, dude I'm, 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 I'm Captain. Yeah, unfortunately, we only put two progress on this one, right? Yeah, but that's still. Uh, well, hold on. Were we up seven yeah. or six? We were up six. We're up How seven we get because up seven? we healed. Because I healed Thalion. Wait, why does that matter? Because you get minus one willpower if you're damaged. Ah. Got it. All right. All right. So we're up six. So travel. So I put two progress. Yeah. So the question is, do we want Amon Forn? I mean, can we get past it easily? And I mean, I, I feel like we get rid of Orc Ambush as soon as we can okay so do you think we should just do one of these runes i think we do armor? one of these runes of whatever all right because right. that, that that way we're only getting plus two threat if we do have to cancel at some point if we ever get the yeah. opportunity to cancel at any point all right well before we did that i actually had to discard my escort right yep and then i draw a card because I keep forgetting. So that's another Morrowind, which is nothing. I get a second Firefoot, which is nothing. Okay. And there's no way to right. discard cards to get resources or anything else in this game, right? No, I mean, you have Awen. And also, uh, if you read Mysterious Omens, we have to discard a random card. So. Wait. Oh, when we travel there? Yeah, that's the... Tra oh, no, no, no. Uh... When we make it the current quest. Yeah, yeah but we're shot. not making it our quest until we get rid of the ambush. Yeah. Because, I mean, you're already in enough... I mean, are you getting rid of those orcs this turn or no? Because that includes oh, this orc here, which is like... Was zero attack, but now it's going to be one attack. I mean, you're in trouble this turn. Yeah. I can kill one of these orcs this turn. I mean, that's not great, dude. And there's no way for me to do anything about them, right? Well, it's because I'm. I have to quest, right? And I can't ready. I can't ready a Marthial. 
Why? Like, we're not, like, I have to quest with her. I only ready her when she engages someone. And I have to quest with her because we need the quest. Right? Like, yeah. That's, <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. Like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. But that's why I was kind of like, I don't know if it's worth playing Legacy Blade. Like, I wonder if I should have held it. What's Legacy Blade? At the plus one attack. Like, I'm just not using it this turn. So I don't know if I should. But what did it. that cost you? It was free. I mean, I could I could wait till we get enough questing to make Dalian a hero or something, right? But oh, Thalian can become a hero. Yeah, once we clear Orc Ambush and we clear Mysterious Omens, Dalian becomes a hero. Can you take some we'll undefended? Have... Oh, no, we have two. Oh, no, we, we used both our feints last turn. No, we didn't. I have a faint. Where's my faint? You said you had another faint in your hand. No, I had one faint ever. And I okay, used so it against... Wow, yeah. I used okay, it for so you three damage. That was maybe not the best use of it. Sorry. It's all good. I mean, I will start being able to heal you more to a turn, but just hope you don't uh, die in the meanwhile, I guess. Yep. All right, so shift us. Counter cards. Um, do you want to give me the extra encounter card to draw an extra card? I don't know if it's worth it if I, I have mean, to I mean, I can all these easily attacks. defend whatever comes through, right? Uh, so... I probably defend. Well, the thing is, I need to kill this thing, right? So, I need to defend one here, and I need to take one undefended, right? All right, so I'll defend this. I don't have any, so it does nothing. Uh, I probably faint that, Which and one? then I f the one who's in? attacking for. Well, this guy's attacking for one, right? Yes. So I'm gonna look, at, look that at and maybe faint. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if the card that. the card is worth it, right? Well, just look at the card. Yeah. So it's not one. So it'll be two. I can take two. So I'll take two undefended. Right. Because I can easily heal that. Um. And then... You're defending that, or no? I'm fainting. This last one. Got it. So let's flip it, just... So we uh, know yep. that we've resolved it, right? Alright, so yep. mine I'm defending against. Nothing. So Shift X gets rid of those. Um, and then I exhaust my horse to ready myself. I need. I mean, he does it easily. Uh, oh, you attack and first. Then, but I'm just gonna kill. Yeah. Him so he real quick. Oh wait, I still can't kill it, right? What are you attacking with? Just, I just have four attack. Two and two. Yeah. You can kill this one in the middle. Which three, one? No, three I, defense. No, oh, he because four, he has four defense. So I shouldn't have actually taken that undefended. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I write on that? Hold on, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You can kill the cornered orc. I know it's not ideal, what? but it's at least one less thing you got to worry about. Right? Do you want to do that? I mean, if we clear this, it's a zero attack. But it's still an attack you're facing every round. I don't know. I feel like it's annoying. Yeah, I, I guess if I did the math right, I would not have taken, taken undefended. the undefended. You would have yeah. defended it? I mean, yeah. I still think it's... I don't know. For me, it's worth clearing. Because we can heal that two damage pretty easily. But that's your choice.
I mean, maybe we don't clear it very easily, actually, because I can't. I, I just like having it because it takes one of these assholes who doubles attacks uh, off the table. Okay. All right. So go ahead and say you defended then. Um. Because you knew the boost card was plus one. Yeah. You did the wrong thing there. All right. You still have to Shift take minus in. two to questing. Minus two to questing? Yeah, from the beginning of the game. She's been minus two, right? She's still minus two. I just put it on there. That's why. Oh. All right. All right. So shift in. Yep. Oh, I have a sword. Goose wine. Nice. That's good. What does that do? Plus three damage, and then you can re return an ally from your discard into your hand. I mean, that's the big thing. The big well, the problem is you've got all the enemies, and there's no way for me to get them. Is there a card? I, I obviously don't have it in my deck, but is there a card to pull enemies like in champions? I mean, it's not super easy. There's certain cards like Aragorn can do it. So no, is what you're saying. No. Not really. Not really. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and I am first player. Yes. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just exhaust Stuart. Stuart! Uh, Stuart to attach Guthwine to uh, Amber. I can kill some stuff, Terrence. I can kill some stuff. Do I, I think I pay for the Lancer, right? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely pay for the Lancer. We just need the questing at this point. Yeah, the nice thing about Lancer is if Corner Orc comes in, you can just kill it. I mean, I don't need to, though. I just pull it. He Well, he does the double attack, which sucks. I don't care. It I, does if there's multiple enemies well, out there. Well, if there's multiple, then I care more. But I still don't care, because even if I lose Morrowind, I'm okay with that right now. Like, we just need to get you clear of enemies. Because you're our main quester, and so anything I can do to help with questing feels like it's the right call, you know? Okay, so what are you doing? Oh, you're just questing? Uh, you're not even playing any cards this turn? I mean, I can play Dindane Hunter and pull an enemy out, but that seems bad. I mean, I can pull enemies. Well, one. I mean, I, I changed some of this deck to basically deal with stuff like healing and other stuff, right? So I have a well, little less stuff for combat. I am first player. So I can pull the enemy if you want to. Pull. Like, does it help you? What does it help you do? No, it literally puts an engage with me. It's this guy. I, yeah, I don't. No, that's terrible. But it's three attack, so it's like it would be nice to get that on the table somehow, but not right now. Well, actually, I'm questing. This bro. actually might be the. Uh, this is Maybe. my biggest can... questing turn. Do you want me to this figure out my questing turn? before you decide? Well, I actually can play this, so I can make him not attack me. So you got to pray to God you pull a enemy, but it's top five cards, right? I mean, if not, then it just whiffs, and that's fine too, right? All right, and you discard him. I, yeah, just discard the the uh, ally, like Angela. All right, so look at the top five. Oh, it's this jerk face. Maybe it'll also be the worst decision, but no, I didn't see right. any. This guy. Oh, what was I looking top five of? Has your corner? Uh, it's uh, a uh, corner orc. Oh, is it corner orc? I think that's the top five I'm looking at. Oh no right. no, you you pulled a different one. Sorry. Did you pull corner orc, or did you look first? I don't know, dude. I just looked. No, I looked first. I looked first. I'm just looking at the log. It says you looked after me. Okay. I would so, prefer a corner orc. So this is what you get. Yeah. 
After he attacks and destroys an ally, I return it to the staging area. What? That's not the worst thing ever, actually. Right? He just is a little beefy, but... I mean, okay. but then I get to pull him. No, he comes and gauge with me. That's no, the but after he kills... So just chump somebody, and then I get to take him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't care if he's beefy. I'm, I mean, I got freaking... Well, he's, he's not attacking me this turn, so there's that. So I'm plus two more attack. I forgot that. So let's go ahead and tab to see. Attack is six. So I'm four yeah, attack. Yeah, but it's only I'm, once. One, yeah. I'm plus four it's attack. It's only one time. Yeah. No, that's that works great. Yeah, you only get to use the sword one time around. Yeah, but it, it counts for its overkill, right? It does count for the overkill. That's why. That's why so you have four, the sword. five, six... Plus my three yep. is nine with overkill. Yep. I mean, that seems real good. Yep. Some so, There's some beefy enemies in here. Um, well, and then I've got two other attackers. Uh, so the only thing I lose is the overkill. If there's beefy yep. people. Yep. All right. Anyway. Um, all right. So what are we doing? A question. All right. So you've already 12. assigned your quester. You've already assigned your questers. I'm questing. Yeah, here. Do I? Do I? Can I hold back a Marthiel, or do we need the Marthiel? You don't need me to heal, right? No, I have no one damage. Are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm. I'm major. Well, I'm only plus one questing this turn. Because I'm putting. No, Denthor. Denthor can't quest. No, I'm putting Aemond out. No, Amor can quest, not Denethor. Denethor's not Rohan. Oh, I Amor's see what you're Rohan. saying. Either way, it's plus yeah. one. Um, yeah, because he's the only one I have in my hand. Beside Morrowind. Do you... Do I not quest with the Marthiel? I mean, we're plus 12 right now. We don't need and plus need 12. Five, so I can use her for defending. Yes. Or killing. You need to defend okay. and kill this turn. All right, we good? Yep. I mean, hold on. So we need th we need five, and we're plus nine. Yeah, right? so I think I have to quest. I mean, you know the game better than I do. Because it's what? It's five. We have to do five, and we're plus nine. So that means we only have a, the room room for four. four. Yeah. And if I don't quest with Marthiel, then we... That's like really Wait, small when do we window. remove this counter, by the way? Are we past that? Which counter? From the main quest or take an extra card? That's right now, right? The Savage, that's right now. So we're going to... So I think I quest with a Marthio, unfortunately, right? Like four... Like you can get one of these these jobbers, right? And it's I mean, three, you could. Like kind of bone. I mean, the question is, we got to get rid of Orc Ambush this turn. Or, yeah, that's is, the thing. or is killing your stuff more important? I think we kill we get rid of orc ambush because I can at least you kill one of these guys. You have to chump somebody to kill. We lose for, a, we lose we, a counter if we if I chump. I don't care about the counter. Oh yeah, mm. you, you do care about the counter. But Angmar Marauder, you have to get back to the middle so I can kill it. So I think we have to deal with the counter, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, I think anyways, just, I, I think I have to quest with the Marthiel because we're just not questing for enough. Okay, that's your call. I mean, are you going to be able to deal with four attacks this turn? Three attacks. No, it's four. This guy doesn't attack because I played Coney and Trap. That's why I did it. Okay. Wait, where is the trap? I don't... Was it in play? No, it's not a trap. It's just the card's called Coney and Trap. If I control Ranger and Warrior after I engage an enemy, which I did in the planning phase, he can't... He just can't attack oh, for the so entire round. Oh, the, so the Marauder won't attack this round? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's not... Like, this round, I'm not chopping someone. Right. He's, well, he's because... Yeah, there. yeah, because he's staying there anyway. All right, yeah, we, I mean... 
Are you going to kill at least one of those things this turn? Yeah, I mean, I have a three attack and a two attack, another two attack. Uh, I have to defend two of these at least. Right. All right. So. Well, yeah. Well, one of them's not an attack. So two of the three you have to defend. You have to defend two of the three, and one of them attacks for zero if we clear Orc Ambush. Oh, because it clears this turn. That's right. Nice. Okay. All right. That's the part I was missing. It clears right away. Okay. Uh, so let's clear it. Yep. 12. All right. So E. Boom. All right. All right. There's plus two. Uh-oh. Whether we do, when we, each player deals the damage to each hero that he controls. To a hero. Oh, to a hero. Attach cold from Angmar to the current quest. I think we just do it, right? Yeah, so we've and, already and blinked we'll our boxes. There's two of well, them. Well, that and, like, you have remedy, so we can just pay for it. Who has right, it? I'll pay for What? You oh. have it. So I pay one. You pay one to give it to me. I pay one to give it back to you. Done. All right. Yep. And, yeah, right. I would have put the damage on uh, Denethor. So, yep. so we clear it, and both of these go away. Has... All right. Well, hold on. So we're plus 10. So we would have cleared yep. it either way, by the way. Just saying. Yeah, you just don't know. Like, if you draw a 3 oh, no, and a I 2, get you No, and we bad, had right? to clear it. We had to clear yeah. it. Yeah. All right, so both these go away. This goes to the victory display. We're still and in the quest phase. We don't draw an orc, right? No. Okay. That's from the first quest card. Um, cool. So all my guys are Death. readying, by the way. But I, I don't have any freaking buddy in front of me. Yeah. Um, so where do you want to travel? I mean, I think we travel to the other runes, right? Okay. Or, do, or are you thinking we go to Ammon? Actually, we go to Ammon, right? No, I don't want to be first. No, I'll be first player next turn. Oh, okay. I don't want to do it. Immediate attacks, yeah. right? So we'll go to we'll go to the runes. Yeah. Because that right, gets rid of all. Wait, have we gotten rid of all of them the last couple of turns? Yeah, this is the last one, and then there's the two that raise a threat, and then there's Ammon form. I mean, the other option is to get rid of the causeway, which will raise our threat, but, like, uh, it takes yeah, three threat off the board, so you won't have to quest this hard. I don't know. It's up to you. I think it's fine right now. All right. All right. Well, so all my crap readies, I get rid of this card. Yeah. Um, But my crap readying does literally zero right now. All right, so shift S to get me all this stuff. Hold on, this guy. D. Okay. I got another Edmund, so that's fine. <laughs> I, uh, second verse, same as the first. Okay. So this guy's attacking for two. Let's see. Let me math this. Uh... I know a place that is fantastic. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's been a quiet crowd tonight. So if I take the Lord this of the Rings crowd is much quieter than the uh, Marvel Champions crowd. What's up, Lord of the Rings? Show up. Show up. Uh, I think it's the dragon cards, man. Nobody's showing up for this dragon cards garbage. I'm just giving you a hard time, Terrence. I know you love dragon cards. Um, if I take two undefended, is that the right call here? I can always heal you. Then I can attack for seven. Or I can attack for five. Five still kills you one of the orcs. Seven kills you a clean orc. Is that better? Well, don't forget the Angmar guy isn't... Why did you... Oh, you could have looked at the what? Angmar one and given him an extra one because he's not attacking, right? I haven't given anyone anything yet. No, I, but you I looked at a card. Attack. Or did you defend No, no, I, def I defended already. Oh, I defended okay. this one. Because this guy's not attacking. And so you just pick one of these two to take, right, with Gilrayan. So that's what I did. Okay. So it, if I give Angmar a card, he doesn't attack. That's just a free card draw. 
Right. That's what I was saying. Um, and then do I just take... Although you take... are taking one undefended, so you may want to search that if you don't care about the card draw. You know what I mean? So should I take this undefended first? Well, you and already looked decide... at it, right? Uh, no, I haven't looked at anything yet. I Dude, defended I'm this I'm looking attack. at a shadow card right now. Yeah, I defended this already. Oh, so that's done. Yeah, so, yeah, dumb. I mean, the question is, do you care about the card draw? Because if not, you might want to look at the undefended attack. I mean, I, I think I do just because then I can play more stuff, right? Do you have the resources? I mean, I'll have... Three, two, one. I'll have... Yeah, I'll have three, two, one, and then I can reduce by the number of engaged enemies next turn for an ally. I mean, so you don't need resources at that point, right? Oh, but you need the card draw is the point. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so just take this undefended, right? It's zero attack. Yeah, zero attack undefended. Go ahead and flip it. All right. Nothing. Nothing. All okay. Right. So then, do I take this undefended, or do I defend it and just kill the damage guy, or do I go and kill the other Amar orc? Take it undefended, right? Uh, At worst, it's a four damage, which kills a cure doesn't kill Gil Rayan, I guess. Yes, it does. Oh, she's plus she's, two health. Yeah. Oh. So is is that literally worst case scenario is four? Or worst case scenario is five? I don't have I don't have any damaged characters. But is there the plus three if undefended, or is that not in this set? I don't think that's in this set. Alright, well then take it. Plus two so instead three. of defending cares to damage. Nobody's damage or nobody's defending, so uh three. So do I just put it on Thurindir then? Where's your healing thing right now? You have it. Oh. So it doesn't matter where you put it. I could literally heal it off next turn. Yeah, then we have more wind potentially too, right? All right, so I'm going to give him a shadow card that we're not going to look at to draw a card. Well, it's not what I wanted, but that's fine. Shift X. Yeah, Shift X. And then I think I just clear kill a clean orc, right? So Do I just even Angmar kill Angmar Marauder? The Marauder? Yeah, just kill Angmar. Just or kill the Marauder, right? Marauder or the regular orc? I mean, Marauder does more damage. Oh, wait. Uh, we do put a damage on here. On where? Protect the innocent. Protect. Oh, so I took it on I'll do that. Uh, I think I just kill Marauder. Okay. See, tax for three, right? So I have to take it next turn. I mean, yes. Well, you'd have to chump somebody, which would get him to the middle next turn. So yeah. you attack for six? Seven. Seven. So yeah. Yep. Three, two, two. Yeah. All right. Uh, unfortunately, that does reduce his quest by one, but that's okay. All right, we're ready up. Yeah, and I can't heal it right away. I guess. Nice. I guess we could pass the cards to people who are. Um. We could pass the card to people who are not hurt, right? Yeah, just the response doesn't do anything. All right, let's see what I drew. Aaron Rider. Zero, zero, zero. Exhaust him to move one resource from the pool of a hero you control to another hero, which could be you. Yep, which could be me. Uh, so let me exhaust Steward to get two resources. Um... There's nothing I really need to or want to play right now. Yeah, this this makes my life a lot easier. Hold on. I hold on. Did we ever add one here? What it, or subtract one? We did for them not getting an or for us not getting an. We we did two one. rounds. We're two rounds in, so we've. Oh, but if two. it kills something, that's when we add Which, another one. Yeah, I damage not killed. Right, right. Okay. Uh, I did play this good guy, the vigilant Dinadan. While there's a side quest in the victory display, which we did on round two, he doesn't exhaust defend now. 
So I oh. can defend all these jobbers, basically, if they don't. Oh, you can you know, uh, like, use them more than once, too. Oh, man. Any attacks for three. Holy moly, he's good. Yep. So he's just gonna he's just gonna defend the zero. Wait, how did you pay for forever? Uh, I have three enemies, so I can reduce it by three. And I spent the one, so I paid one to put. Yeah, him in but play. he's he's red. Yeah, but since I'm engaged with an enemy, I can pay for red with a Marthial. Wait, what? Well, you're engaged with at least one enemy. Oh, you, you gain get attack a resource. All right, so you paid with the Marthial. Oh, yep, because we're three, two, one. That's right. All right. Well, yeah, but she's actually great. she gets two resources a turn because now I have two enemy. I've had two enemies every turn for a while. So red. So that's red. So that's yeah. Red that and purple. Yeah. I mean that seems good enough for me. I mean. Oh, I killed a guy, didn't I, last turn? Yes. Uh, I'll give myself three resources. How do you what? Proud hunters. He is worth three threat. Oh, wait, I didn't use a hero. Never mind. I don't get three resources. Sad. Wait, what card are you looking at? This one. You say this one. I highlighted it with my circle with the two. Oh, you were going to play it from your hand. Last turn, but I didn't but use a did. hero, so I don't get to play it. Okay. I used all allies. All right. Very cool. But well, yeah. Keep going. Ready um, quest. Uh, I would like to heal, though. I can't heal you now. Oh, you want me to spend the resources, is what you're saying. Yeah. If you're okay with that. Uh, I should probably not move my entire pile. All right. Yep. Um, so that removes one. I, d I don't want... Wait. Where, did I just move I a hero want, to your side too? Yeah, I don't want your hero. <laughs> uh, okay, do I? I mean, you kind of do. She's pretty ridiculous. Uh, do you, uh, I don't have any. I don't have any of those allies though, so it's like well, useless and, to and me. she's not Rohan either because her husband. Well, died. she is Rohan because Amor's in play. Oh, as long as he's in play. Yeah, so like you know, you could build a cool deck where like. He's across the table. Like you right. need him in, in your deck, right? Um, All right. What are you doing? Are you playing anything else you're planning? Um, I mean, should I play the Iron Rider? I guess there's no reason not to, right? Like a zero 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 stat line, though. I mean, if you have nothing better to play, you could play it. You could pass resources around to help with healing. I mean, the question is, I could play Aomond. I feel like I do that, but then I don't have anything to do for Lothriel. To draw and, cards? To draw cards. And I'm not You can use Errant Rider to draw cards. Wait, what do you mean? He's Gondor, so... He so you saying still... I, should, I could call him into play to help quest? Yeah. For zero? For zero, yeah. Yeah, if you really want. I mean, I feel like maybe that's a better call. Because I don't care about move. Do you care about resources? So I'll pay the three here to have that permanently in play. Right? Yeah, you just lose the ability to ready unless you chomp with them. I mean, that's fine. Look, if we need it, we need it. But my other two cards are useless. So. Oh, but I could spend two resources from anyone? Ah, why don't I just spend the two resources? Again, I should have done it first, but I'll draw a card. Another Horn of the Mark. So, clear my deck out. Clear my how deck. How your deck? I have thirty deck cards left. Uh, I don't even know how to look. I'm highlighted. Uh, it's 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 deck and then the parentheses. Oh, twenty. It's your deck. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. I'll quest. I guess. Um. So questing, 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 questing. I feel a little better about the Wait, do you now. need me to heal this turn or no? No, I just paid for it. Would you rather me quest or you rather heal? I healed it. I just paid money. Oh. All right. So I'm questing for nine. So the question is, do you want to do Mysterious Omens and discard a random card? What is it to you? 
you have to discard a random card for us to go there. We're not going to clear it this turn. I, yeah, dude. All three of my cards are literally garbage. Okay. The only card I care about is Test Will. But, you know, you never know. Oh, wait. I thought we were going to go to M on this turn. Or when I was first player. Why didn't we do that? Because I'm first player. Okay. I thought I was... So we're doing, we're doing it when, yeah, you, Mysterious this turn, Omens. when you're first player next in. Oh, we're not going this turn. We're going next turn. We're going to aim on Forn as a location next turn. This turn. Or your turn when you're first player. But I'm first player this turn. So we're not going to Mysterious Omens. We can. Mysterious Omens has nothing to do with You'd have to discard Forn. a card, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you want to go to that? I mean, we got to start it at some point. Yeah, I figure it'll take us two turns, right? Yes. I only care about one card, so it's a 20% chance. And that's fine. All right, discard a card. You discard a card, or we both do. Each player. So I look at my hand and I do... Choose random. Wait, what? You click the burger menu above hand and choose random and it shows you. Okay, so I lost the horn. Why? All right, uh, so do you want to pay or do we reveal extra cards? I mean, I f feel like we still have to pay, but we're we're getting close to out of luck. Like, are you losing characters this turn? Because then we could just lose, right? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I have the Duna Dan, so I assume not, because he can defend and not exhaust. All right, so we're gonna just remove a counter. It's what up to what you. do you think? You've played this game more than me. Uh. I think it puts us in somewhat dangerous territory to go down to two. So um, draw an extra card? I think, yeah, we just draw it. I mean, you're set up, right? Like, if we get enemies... Yeah, I don't care about enemies. That's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about getting more locations. Like We are, and that's, that's just how it's going to be, right? Yeah. I mean, because every turn... It, it just becomes harder to quest next turn, right? Yeah. Like, yep. I feel like maybe we get lucky this turn... All right, you want to? Yeah, we could go hard and get lucky this turn potentially. We could do that. Uh, all right, so screw it. Remove yeah, one. We're removing one. All right, so E. Two cards. Doom two. All right, so you you. Yep. It's not terrible. Move each damage character from the quest. That's zero people. There right? is none. Yep. So that was nothing. Okay, so we can get lucky here, right? E. Boom. One one threat. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Is that it? Yeah, we did it. That is it. Three and no. We need nine. We're one short. Right? Yeah, we need three and nine. We're three and eight. Terrence, yeah, did short. I lose you? <laughs> we're one short. Oh, I mean, there was... There's zero percent chance we get a zero zero, right? But yeah, I mean eights. I mean that's way better than we thought it was going to be, right? So next turn we don't have to go as hard because Aim and Fron won't be there. Yeah, and we only need one extra point. You know what yep. I mean? So I still think we're in a good spot. Yep, I, th I still think we're in a good spot. So eight progress. I mean, it feels good, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was way better than it should be, in all honesty. All right, and then you want to travel to Amen, right? Well, he, yeah. I think I think removing four is really good for us. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no for sure. Um, <laughs> she, and, and, she defends for eight now. Gil Ran. Who? Gil Ran defends for eight now. Yeah, but she's not going to be doing your defending, right? She's my defender. No, I thought your vigilant Dunedin was going to be your defender. Oh, yeah, yeah, but she's still like my defender, def main defender, if it's like a big enemy. Which we don't have right now. I mean, are you killing yeah. anything this turn? Yeah, I'm going to kill. I attack for two. Attack for six. Eight. I mean, ten I guess it, defends, it depends if your vigilant Dunedin survives this. 
Well, attack. I'm going to attack. I'm going to defend one, right, with Gilrain. Right, because why would why she not? not? Yeah. And then I'm gonna, he's going to defend. Well, the... you're losing an attack if you defend, if you attack with her. Yeah, but I only need to do. Yeah, I guess, like, they kill that, and then they kill. I mean, you really can't lose your defender, though. You're praying to God he survives these two attacks that he's yep. taken. I mean, or you don't pray to God and you just give up a breed defender or whatever. Well, he has he has two defense and three health, right? Yeah, he should be fine. He should be fine. All right. All right. So, shift S? Yep. All right. Uh, she'll defend one of these big ones. Well, hold on. What are you looking at? Uh, probably this one, right? The big attack. Go ahead and that she's look at defending. It. No. Wait, oh, it has two. Why does it have two? Because I looked at it and I gave her another one. Oh. Um. All right. So she's defending this. All right, yeah. Whatever. All right. And then he's defending the um, the zero attack, right? Yep. Plus one, so it's one attack. But you defend easily. for each ally. Oh. That's not good. I think I will exhaust Freeland Protector. <laughs> uh, oh, to redraw that sh stuff? Yeah, yeah. That's Next. that's an awful one, right? What's? Oh, yeah, that's the worst I've seen. So S yes. is Shadow card. Yeah, I'll take the Nun, and then she goes back to my hand. So I won't kill both of them, but that's fine. Oh, she goes back to your hand. Wait, who goes back to your hand? Because no damage was done, right? So. Oh, yeah, yeah. But can you afford her? Yeah, dude, I have the vigilant thing, so I'll I'll pay one for free, and then I can oh, yeah, pay for yeah. the other one. Yeah. Um. All right. So then he's defending this other one. Nothing. So he takes no damage. All right. That seems good. So you got at least six attack down there. All right. So Seven, eight. Dead. With Thalen. Just... Yeah. Then Thalen can't touch this guy, so it's fine. I mean, you could do one damage to the corner orc if you just want to put it one away. Sure. You know what I mean? Just in case. Sure, why not? Yeah. yeah. Like, at some right. point, and you then... may just, like, forget it. Let's let's get rid of it, you know? Yep. And I mean, because, again, I, I don't love you having to take that extra, like, because that almost killed your best character, you know? Like, even with a zero attack, it almost killed your best character because plus one for each ally. So... I don't know. I just, I just hate you having to take that. So shift N. Well, that's why you have the Breland protectors, right? Yeah, I mean that's that's that was really good in that situation. All right, um, uh, your first player. So what are you doing? Uh oh, uh nothing. I literally have no cards that do anything. Wait, you can steward. Oh no, I have. Oh no, I you, forgot to lose. The, I got to shuffle this in. So it's H. And, and then draw. D. Yeah. I do have a yeah. feint, which is still not useful. I mean, potentially useful. You can steward and then draw the steward to draw a card. Oh, yeah. Good point. All right. So I'll do that. So we'll exhaust that to draw a card. Horn of the Mark. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting my best cards. They're just... I mean, it's not bad when... You just need to discard cards, right? For yeah. this thing. All right. So, well, yeah, I got nothing useful, though. All right. Uh, I have useful things. Uh, I will spend... I mean, I've I'll use Air Bound Deal to play another Breed Defender, or Breed, Breed Lane Protector, and I'll spend the two here to play another one. So I can either attack or redraw two Shadow cards. Feels good. Yeah. No, that and, redraw shadow cards is pretty darn spiffy. Um, and then we will... Quest. Quest. Oh. Uh, you're choosing this, right? Oh, Mysterious Omens? I don't need to heal anybody, right? No. Yeah, no, we're finishing Mysterious Omens. All right, so I'm going to discard a random card again. I mean, do I even have to discard a random card? Can I just, just pick one? It doesn't really matter. It's supposed to be random, but whatever. I mean, literally, my cards are 
all the same, which is none useful. I got lost my horse. Sad. Um, you don't need healing, right? No, nope. I'm all healed up. All right, so I'm just going all in with these everybody. Except, I mean, Seems except like the right my call. defender and attacker. Um, so I'm nine. You're thirteen. Cool. Yep. So we're plus fifteen. I mean, there's. I mean, clearing aim and form removes. Well, so we're going to do a third one this turn, though, right? Because we clearly yep. can't yep. take another. Yep. So, all right, we ready? I think we got to do this every turn now. We ready? Yep. E. Oh, one revealed. Raise each player's threat by the threat of the active location. Well, that's not great. Four. Uh, cancel that. Isn't there something with canceling? No, we cleared those. <laughs> All right. That's Including nice. those two locations I had it. Raise your threat by two. This is not a weather. All right. So cancel, do you redraw it or no? It's just canceled. Nope. Just canceled. It's like a hand spider sense. So it's one, two. We got the hills here. Fine. Oh, that's great for us. Yeah, because I can pull it. Yeah. I mean, if it's me getting enemies, we don't care. So here's another quest. Find shelter. Weather is growing subtly worse. Black clouds loom in the horizon. You must find a safe place for shelter or be caught in the storm. Surge. Yeah. Time for. Uh, forced. After the last time counter is removed from the quest card, player deals four damage to a hero he controls. Then place four time counter. Oh, this is terrible. Yeah. We, we have four turns to deal with it. All right. Well, we got this. All right, so he makes an immediate attack against you. That's fine. Um, he's not engaged, he's just attached from staging area. Right? Oh, well, whatever. I defend it from not the staging area. Right? Plus two. Yep. Nope. So plus, plus one. one. So four, four damage. I defend for yep. five. So we're good. Uh, and then you're going to ready, I assume? Yeah. With my horse. Yeah. It is a little sad, though. That I don't get an extra ready? So he's still in the stage. No, you, you don't get the shadow card removal. Well, I mean, I've never got, I've gotten it once this in, like in two games. I don't know right. that like you get it that so often. So we get we cleared aim on four, and so that goes the victory display. Yeah, that seems good. And we clear mysterious omens. That also goes the victory display, right? Uh, yeah. So we can choose one of these four cards. So cunning, hardy, resolute. I'll pull them over. Ruthless or so. stalwart. It's five cards. So you want plus defense. Two resources what, uh, for the one. Plus one attack, but you can move damage. Move any amount of damage from attached hero to an enemy engaged with you. That seems good. Play I feel like Hardy actually might be the, the call. I'm looking you. at Boon. Uh, Resolute. Potentially. Who would you put it on? I mean, my Lothriel, who quests every turn, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like I just, I feel like questing is where we're hurting. Well, any of us can take it, right? Oh, we only get one of these. Yes, each of us gets one. Ah. No, each of us gets one, right? Yeah, each of us gets one of these. So if you take it, I can't take it. Right, right. Tatsuro gets plus two to all their stats at the end of the phase. Limits once per game. So two free resources and a turn of plus to whatever you need. So you're looking at the plus two hit points? No, I was thinking that for you because that gives uh, Danthor five, potentially. I think the best ones are probably... Uh, these three on the left for us collectively. You get yeah. a ready. It's plus two hit points and a ready. That's like really good on Denethor. Um, on who? Stalwart but he already has Denethor. a ready. But you just get one out of the opening, right? Like you can defend three times potentially or two times in a pinch. Like yeah, I, I guess this is not a... 
I mean, it depends if you want the questing. Yeah, so one of us should take the questing. It doesn't matter who that is. The The other option I was thinking if I take something would be stalwart. Because uh, if I imagine what we pick, we get to keep. That seems like how right. a lot of these campaigns go. Uh, the plus one defense on Gilrayan before I like draw my thing could be good too, right? So like, I think it's, I think like one of us takes Resolute and the other one takes one of the other two. So I take defense. Resolute and you take Stalwart, right? Okay. I mean, because I'm going to quest again. every turn with her. And canceling up to two points of damage, like, isn't terrible. Like, when we get those random, like, or yeah. even you can or, do it as an, a, a random or, or do I take party instead? But I probably take stall, stalwart, right? Yeah. No, you're good. And I got resolute. Where did I put stalwart go? So do I immediately get the plus one questing? Yes. Okay. I added it on. All right. So we need to travel to a location. Um, uh, where do you want to go? Well, so if I do concealed, I will get two enemies. I can defend them both this turn. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, oh, and I can do overkill. And I'm yep. attacking for... No, and I didn't lose an, an ally. That's the only problem. So I am only would be attacking for seven. And I need six of them to kill this orc. Unless you get a weenier enemy, which you can pull out of the discard, right? You can literally oh. pull cornered or... Well, corner work attacks twice, so you don't want that. But you could take the... I uh, mean, I could take one round of damage, and remember, I've got resolute, so I could just ignore those two points of damage. Or two of however many points of damage, right? Yeah, so if you take cornered orc... Yeah, why don't we do that? Two you want corner work? Because I do then three to that... And then I'd have four overkill, which is perfect. He does attack you. So you That's just what take I'm saying. But, but I can okay. use resolute, right? Yeah. To cancel up to two damage from him. So he attacks right away. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Deal one damage to defending character. Well, there is no defending character, right? So I just take two. Yeah. So I can either take him or exhaust resolute. What do you think? I just take them. Right? Uh, we got yeah, plenty I think of resources. Just take it because we have we have money. So you yeah, just give we have it to like plenty of resources. Amor. Give it to Amor, right? Um, because right. he isn't. Aren't tactics resources worth less for you? So you just give it to Amor. Well, but I need his attack. No, and don't forget, but, she can prevent damage. That's why. Do you see what I'm saying? Why, with Resolute. why is it... But you're not defending with her, right? You're literally taking undefended, or are you defended? I'm taking undefended. So, yeah. So it doesn't. you can sign it to anyone you want. Right. So that's why I'm giving it to... Oh, you're saying her resources are more valuable. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, that's what I thought you said. The tactics wasn't as valuable to you. No, well, yes, that's true, but... She can, can cancel two damage. I just don't want to lose anybody. You know what I mean? What? Are you... And then you're taking two attacks now. That's, that's why I'm saying. saying. I'm taking two... Oh, yeah. well, I can defend both of them. No, you have, a, you have a feint right now. I don't even need the feint. I'm a feint for you. Or are you Wait, good, I don't too? need it. Dude, I have my defender who defends all the time. I mean, I'm not going to use the feint, I don't think. All right, so okay. should I have prevented those two damage? Is that what really is the answer? Well, uh, it just depends. It, I guess I did. I thought you were going to faint. So if you're not fainting, then... I mean, I have two defense. Why do I need to faint? You have one defense. No, I have... Three. Oh, my horse is exhausted. Yeah. You're right. I am going to have to faint one of them. You're correct. So I'm clearly f uh, fainting the Marauder. So if you want an extra card... Like, yeah, I'll feel, take your card. Feel free to do that. All right, so I'll faint. Yep. Discard. Uh, wait, we we have three, right? What do you mean? Oh no, we only have 
Wait, right. what happened to that other card? Did you discard it? What are you saying? Oh, no, you didn't do anything. We cleared this. I'm defending Mr. Summons. No, Mr. Summons. Oh, yeah. Thalion is yeah, Thalion's a hero now. Or whatever. Yes. Well, Thalion's a hero now, so that's that's why. Uh, defending player either raises a threat by three or attack is considered undefended. Two damage? Uh, do you want me to redraw that? No, I'll just, I'll just do this. I'll just exhaust this. Boom. My once per game, okay. avoid two damage, right? Okay. Either that or we could just put it on Ammer also, and I could just pass it back and forth. Should I do that instead? Sure. sure. Yeah, I'll just put two on Ammer. It's fine. Wait, no, no, you defended, though. With But it's considered undefended. Oh, it's considered undefended, yeah. Okay. I you mean, it could... No, actually, why don't I put it on the guy that's got Steward of Gondor? That makes more sense, right? Yeah. He's got unlimited yep. resources. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, not unlimited, but right. you know what I mean. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll defend here... Uh, okay, I defended it, and then I'll defend and don't exhaust. Yep. So wait, did I take the... Oh, I did take damage from attack, so we got to do protect the innocent. We got to add to there. Two. Was two it two? There. Was hers from an attack as well? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, Back to four. All right. But we, we now got a permanent freaking upgrade. It seems yep. good. So wait. All right, I'm going to kill my dude as well. I this assume one? you're killing yours. I killed yep. both of mine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just leaving. I'm leaving this job around. So I had nobody die. But um, so he attacks for four plus three is seven. Three go on here, which defense and two life. And then four more carry over to the Angmar yep. Marauder for dead and dead. Um, and then you get to take an ally back in your hand. Oh, that's right. We're clearly taking those jobbers that give me plus two, right? Yep. This is yet like this. This is part of the other reason I, I want those enemies is that uh, it allows me to play my allies and stuff, which I can't if I don't have enemies in front of me. Okay. Yeah, so I got an escort in my hand. Oh, that's right, because nice. I want to kill stuff, because then I get cards. Yes. Yes. All right, so shift N. Yep. By the way, we are running out of threat here, though. Yeah, so do you want to go for broke on well, the hold on. quest, or do you want to try well, to find shelter? This, this find shelter takes down one. It goes, yeah. How do we do that? What's the four? Four. Okay. So, so wait, you wanna... it still has you as first player. Oh yeah, I was first player last year. You were just first player. So do you want to just go after main? That's all we need to win. Let me draw a card. Oh no, I got my uh, escort right. So I don't even need to draw yep. a card. Do we want to heal ourselves? Are we minus threat for whatever? Angle? No, that's just that's just you, man. Yeah, you're minus two threat right now. So that, that's a... I mean, the only one that matters is Lothiel, though. Well, you also don't want your def main defender to have one health. Yeah. All right. So where's the thing? Do you have it? You, you, you. Uh, yes. I'll spend one to give it to whoever you want. So Down to Lothiel, which will heal her one. She'll spend one resource to pass it over to Denethir, which will heal him one. And then he'll spend one resource to pass it back, which will heal her one. And then he'll spend his own to give it to her to then give it back to him. Yeah. So then he ends up healing and he's got it. Are you card drawing with your two or what are you doing? Um, I don't know that I need it, right? Just more allies. I mean, but I have one for this turn. Let's just... I, I'd rather hold the resources just in case. I don't know what they're just in case. You're right. Just spend it, right? Why not? Uh, third win. 
Draw a card or a resource. But I mean, I'd rather have the plus four. You have Escort? Yeah. Nice. Well, that's what I'm saying. I drew it because when I killed something, I got to draw from my discard. Yeah. All right. So, All we're, right. oh, you have to do your or work. No, I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm not pulling another enemy. <laughs> yeah. Unless that, you think that I was, should. That was terrible. All right. So, I'm at 14. What? You're pulling the enemy? I thought pulling the enemy was good. I mean, well, it got you an attacker finally, so you could actually do something. It got me the big attacker, and I was able to make it not attack me for that round, so I felt like it was... Yeah. Well, I mean... It was, it was the right you... call that turn to do it, you know. <gasps> and then you killed it with the ally that you brought in. So, yes, it was definitely yep. the right call. All right. All well, right. I mean, 21, we're just going after the main, right? Yes, sir. Uh, well, that depends on, do you think we can do it before Find Shelter goes through? Do we win so, right away? We win right away. I mean, that's three more turns. If we're questing for plus 21, I feel like we have a good chance at it. Right? Uh, I mean, the question is, do we get... I mean, do you have more you can send or no? All yours are zero. Uh, I mean, I have my Hunter, I guess. I can send for one. That's fine. I have enough attack now. So do you want to just get rid of Fine Shelter to be safer? Or? Th that's up to you. I mean, we're getting high on the threat, so that's the other consideration. Right. That's what I'm saying. Let's just go main. Yeah, right? let's just go for main. Go big, go home. Uh, we also get, if we clear this we're gonna get location, orc. we'll get another resource object mission objective, which is nice. Wait, are you getting an orc? Wait, Why if we would clear I get which one? We clear this location, we get another token on Savage. Wait, do we really? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's only Concealed Orc Camp. Never mind. Yeah. All right. It says explicitly. Cool. So Reveal we're drawing three. three again, though, right? Yep. We're not gambling. Although there's no, no gambling. it's You have to travel that location, right? So we could just do two. Yeah, right? I don't know if there's, like, encounter cards or stuff. All right. Uh, let's not this turn. Remember. Next turn, we'll do two. Right? Because then we just auto win it. Well, unless there's an encounter card that like I don't think there is. To it. I haven't seen one. Let's put it that way. All right, so we're just gonna quest three. Yep. First one. Oh, we just shuffled it back in. Each player. Oh yeah. So we've seen every card, buddy. Yeah. Each player assigns X damage among characters to control. So unfortunately, this does go up by one. Uh, there are three quest cards in play. Then exhaust each damage character. Each year send X damage among characters he controls, where X is the number of quest cards in play. So three. So we each have to assign three? Yes. And of course, escort is terrible for that. Um, so I'm just going to assign two to Lothriel. Oops. And then two, or one, two, death, or, and they're just going to pass that healing back and forth. All right. Where are you at? I signed all three to Gilran. Is that a bad idea? No. It's a great idea. Uh, so that's one card out of three? Yeah. Oh, wait. Aren't we supposed to be adding weather? Oh, you did. Yeah. Assign so X damage among characters to the quest. X is the number of characters. Oh, this is bad. Uh, one, two, three. I mean, I'm just going to assign one to all my jobbers on the quest, right? Yep. You have to minus one your willpower for each one that you assign. Wait, really? To each character permanently? I mean, until you undamage it. Well, then that's not the right call. Yeah, this is where it's like, that's why I think you wanted to save Resolute is for this. What's Resolute? The cancel damage. I, I did save it. Uh, are you using it now? Should I? All right, so fine. Well, I don't know if you want to necessarily, but it's a lot of damage, right? In one turn. All right, so that's two 
Well, because we assign it among all of us, right? Yeah, so I've done one, two, one, two three. So four. I have five characters on the quest. I've taken I've done I've taken all of mine so far. So I've done uh, do two need, of my do you need five, me to, so I need, do you need three to, more. Do you need me to take more for you? Well, I guess the question is do we want to assign it to the same character so we're not losing as much threat removal? You know what I mean? Sure. I mean, that's the question, right? Well, I don't mind losing a character either. I could ready all my Rohan characters. And draw a card. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, right? Uh, but then I lose well, two this is quest. Characters. This is questing characters, though, right? So. Yeah, no, but I could lose Edmund. After Edmund leaves play, ready all Rohan characters in play. Wait, so what were the two cards we got? We got one that was deal th X damage. Three. Or X is number of quests. So I took three already. Um... I and need to assign three more damage. How much how much damage do we have to do in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need to do ten in total. So without so killing I, wait, eight, hold on. I had five and you had four committed. We had five and five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so but you're not talking about the six we should have taken before, right? So you just I already did that. Yeah, ten total. I took three. So if I out. if I do three on Thurindir, two on Thalion. Do you need me to take any of yours? Because I can do one and two. And then, because we're trying to reduce how much willpower we're losing, right? Is that true? Right, I'm, I'm just killing a character. So I'm losing one already. Losing a second one isn't as bad as, like, spreading the damage. So you're losing... So how much more damage do you need me to take? I took all of mine. You took all of yours? Yes. Okay. All right, I've taken all mine. All right. Hold on, hold on. I've taken five across two heroes. All right. Yeah, I removed my... So I'm right right now. I removed my willpower. Okay. Yep, so there's one more card. Is that true? Jeez. Use player signs to X damage. Are you kidding me? Isn't that the same card? So it's three each again. Yeah. This is awful. Oh, and we got to add another threat to this stupid thing, too. Yeah. That's fine. But that's not uh, among questing characters. No, no, that's just anyone. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. I got that. I feel like we're going to be spending a lot of resource to move stuff around this turn. Yeah. So I'm at 14. We're at plus 14 progress. Is that right? Yep. Seems good. Oh, but we are right. going to have to get an orc. No, we don't. That was the travel cost. We did that. Oh. All right. So two goes here. And then 12 on me. 12 on me. Yeah. Oh man, this is that was something. All right, shadow card. Look at it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh well, I lost a card. Do I exhaust my horn? Yes. So I do get to draw a card though. Yeah. Uh, I nominate Weather Hill Top. So this goes away. Hold on. 
Yes, of course. That's garbage. Although, five's a lot to clear, but... I mean, it's, it's at four, so... <laughs> I mean... All right. Cool. All right, so we're good? Cool, cool, cool. cool. We are good. So, ready up drop? Yep. Yeah. So, N, shift N. All right, do you want me to pass the sigil to you? Sure. What's my draw? I have a writer. Well, I have my own, my own healing thing. So I'll play that to heal myself. Wait, you have a healing Spend card? It. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to detach this. So I'm going to spend one here to move it to her, which heals her one. What did I just do? What does two do? Oh, progress. All right, so I remove a damage. She's going to spend one to move it spend back to one. him. She removes the damage. He's going to spend one to move it back to her, which removes the damage. She's going to spend one to move it back to him. And then he'll spend one to move it over to him. That removes the damage. So now I have a random damage sitting around. Um, do you need me to send it anywhere? If I don't send it, or if I don't heal my guy, I can get plus two questing. That's fine. Is that better? Yeah. Well, like, actually, I could put it in that plus two questing anyway. Oh, no, because I could put it in Thadewin then. Yeah. Oh, no, but I can... I can move a resource to him. So I could keep one on... Yeah. So wh wh where are we at? Do you need healing? I have one that has two damage, and that's it. That's okay. fine. So it's minus one to your questing. Oh, yeah. Let me add the one questing back. So she's get plus one. Oh, Resolute's still exhausted, though. Um, and he's plus one again. Well, it, it doesn't exhaust. It's just you've used I it. I know. Well, it's, gonna uh, that's it's, how it's just going to refresh every time you refresh. But that's how I'm reminding myself for now, at least. All right. So you don't need it. So I'm going to spend these three resources to put in another Westfold. Lancer. I'm now not questing with the one willpower jobber because that's dumb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess that hurt us with healing that turn. All right. We're questing? Yeah. Quest, quest, quest. Quest from my hand. They had win. I'm questing for 15. I'm questing 12. all I can get to. Alright. Draw three. Uh, well, no, we could do two this turn, though. Alright, draw two. Do we want to do that and remove this? Yeah, let's do it. Yep. I, I mean, because there's no way that there's cards that do that, because we've literally seen all the cards. Alright, so that's okay. plus two. Who cares? And one reveal. Each player deals one damage to a hero he controls. That's fine. So that goes on the main quest? Yeah. So you lose your special power for that character. It doesn't yeah, have to be a questing character, right? No. It, that didn't it's really a hero. To it has to be a quest. hero. It's right here. It's on the main. Huh? It's on the main. I mean, it's next to it. No, this enemy. Oh, that's an enemy. It. Yeah. I was like, what is going on? So I can just give uh, it to Anor. Yeah. Damage. Who cares? That's uh, it, right? And then I'll engage the orc. Or did we just no, win? No, we don't have to. Oh. We just win. All right. 19. So hold on. We're plus 19. So it's five. And then, yeah. We have way more than enough to go on the main. And, and we still carry four over like last time. 
Oh, we forgot to drop this down by one as well. But yeah, that's game. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. The, Let me hear you say way. Oh. That, that was harder than last time, right? Last week. I mean, it wasn't easier. That is for darn sure. All right. I will transition to our post-stream discussion, but it's going to be very short because I have to work tomorrow. Believe it or not, on Saturday. What? You know it's a Saturday, right? I am well aware that it is a Saturday and I still have to work. So there is that. So no hockey? Just work? Uh, my wife's taking my daughter to hockey. By the way, oh, I don't know if I told you, but I have officially signed up to be a hockey coach now. I've taken all the trainings. Like, apparently hockey is one of the most stringent sports for coaching. Like, I've had to take, you know, safe sport, which is basically, like, don't touch the children. And if you see something happening, like, call the police, Is basically. that just the hockey? Because I feel like that should apply to every sport. <laughs> well, no, that's what I was talking to my friend who's a coach for lacrosse. And she said, no. Like, she's like, it's optional. I'm like, what? <laughs> that doesn't feel like it should be optional. Um, but hockey yeah, has other trainings as well, like coach trainings. There's like, so that's like an hour and a half of videos for safe sport. Uh, then they do a background check on you, so you got to pay for that. But then you've got to take like several other, like you have to take an online course for like just hockey coaching in general. Then you have to do one for your age specific group. And all these courses are like two to three hours. And then you have to take another course that's like a live course where you, I guess you got to go on and it's it's online still potentially, but you still have to be online like the day that they're doing it or whatever. And that's like 55 bucks. So like, yeah, it's, it's a lot to be able to coach uh, <laughs> for hockey and it's, and you don't get paid. <laughs> like there's the other thing. It's not like, like I'm doing it because my kid's like playing hockey. Right. And so I could be on the bench. So I'm spending like 150 bucks in like six hours of my life plus. Well, you know, it's for the love of your kids, right? Well, it right. feels like it's worth it. Yeah, of course. Um, but uh, like every other sports, like yeah, I'll I'll coach, and they're like, okay, like hockey, you like legitimately have to like do all this stuff. Um, but I guess it's because it's a physical sport. Um, I, I'm guessing for football or other sports where you're constantly hitting. There's probably a lot yeah, that, that of makes sense. training that makes as well. Sense. Um, because we were very clear that checking, which you're not allowed to do um, at 12 and under, is not the same as like physical contact. And physical contact's encouraged checking illegal at this age. Um, so, yeah, you're basically pushing people out of the way. Like, but they're like every practice you should be practicing physical contact. Like, basically, like, again, cutting people off and, like, yeah. You just can't forcefully push them into the boards, basically. So. I know this because I've taken six hours of trainings. Plus. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah. it's good for you to know, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I mean, I honestly had been encouraging the kids to do that anyway. Um even without knowing the exact rule, but it's like, no, that's not a check. Like I know what a check is like, that is not a check. Like just cause you're getting in front of them and they don't, they don't ever call it. So it makes sense. Um, but uh, anyway, I, I did, I did notice you, we forgot to read the campaign. Yeah. So let's read the campaign flips, flip side of that card that I placed in your engaged area. If you want to read that. Okay, so I'm going to do it. It'll be tiny for everybody else, but whatever. My, my excellent reading will do that. So wait, where is it? In, in your player one engaged right in front where your enemies go. Oh, oh that's a lot of reading. Uh, resolution. Note the amount of damage on the Protect yep. the Innocent campaign log. So that's four. Let me actually. So you get to keep the same number you had from last week. Well, but I am uh, marking it after each one, in case we care later on. Uh, the heroes force the door open and th uh, thrust a torch inside. The flickering orange light revealed a small group of survivors huddled together in the corner. They appeared half starved, and they shivered in cold. Uh, they shivered in the cold dungeon. The heroes removed their cloaks and placed them around the unfortunate prisoners to help to help warm them. Who has done this? asked one of the heroes, but they were 
too distraught to answer. At length, an older man named Thordir spoke. Uh, we could hear the harsh voices of the orcs, but there was another voice that commanded them. I don't know what kind of creature it was, but it was terrifying to hear. We found none but orcs when we arrived here, spoke one of the heroes. This it must, uh, Then it must have escaped, answered the old man. The hero turned to their companions and said, We should take those people to Fornost, where the rangers are gathered. You are one of the rangers. Arian will. I'm not, wa- oh, what? I'm not. I'm not Iarian though. Yeah, Iarian will want to hear what they can tell him of their capture. Of their capture. Um. So basically, we mark the blood again. And we well, rescued the prisoners. We're, we're, we what? rescued the prisoners and we're uh, bringing them back. So we'll see what happens next time. Yeah. Cool. I I am enjoying this. Um. The games are long. That I will say, um, compared to Marvel Champions, and our Marvel Champion games are long, um, they, they are definitely long, because this was three and a half hours? Yep. And it's the second mission of the campaign? And I don't feel like it was particularly extended by anything? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we played particularly fast by any means, but... Um... I mean, I'm still slow at the game, for sure. Um, And my deck isn't particularly... Like, you made a very good deck for me, but it's not like... It wasn't Twitch for this mission, right? Like... No, I mean, we can't change it, right? (laughs) No, you can change the deck, but you can't change the heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could have changed the entire deck, though. Um, Yeah, I, I made some changes to my deck that slowed stuff down, but I think they were all crucial to winning. Um like the the remedies and stuff so right like if we didn't have the dune dame remedies that i put in this time around oh no the, the uh, remedy would have died great. we would have died easily i mean um, i could have healed more with um morrowind but not not for the amount we were taking i think yeah it was a lot from yeah um yeah and we had plenty of resources to pay for it so no it was great no, I, I did. I am enjoying myself with this campaign. It terrifies me that this is the second easiest. Um, I don't know if it's the second easiest. It's uh, I think the community sets like a six four, and the last one was like a five six or something. So it's a little harder. Um, wait, six four five six. What do you say? Out of ten, like a five point six and a six point four. They're decimal pointing these. I think they're just averaged, you know, like people put in ratings and then I they get you. averaged for the community. So the is. next one is Dead Men's Dyke. Yeah, usually the last one. So, you know, like the traditional box, the traditional release model is like a campaign box like Marvel Champions. Right. But you only get three and then you get the six kind of packs afterwards. Right. And you get one in each of those. So nine in total. So oftentimes the third quest in the box is usually the hardest in the, you know, first three quests. Um, right. But is the rest of the cycle harder? No, 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 no. The, the rest cycle kind of bounces around and usually the last quest is the hardest kind of like in the campaign. And so this right? will, that dead men's dike will be harder and then it'll kind of maybe ease up a little for a few. Yeah. It, it will meander. Like they will be easier and harder kind of as you go. Um, okay. Uh, so it doesn't like it's not like uh, Marvel Champions where, I guess in theory it's supposed to ramp up. Yeah, uh, it I doesn't mean, even always ramp up that way. But most of them did. I think one of the only ones that really didn't was the last one, um, the X Men one. Like the um, first one was pretty. What hard. was what was the fourth one in Sister Motos before Venom Goblin? Venom. It was. No, Venom was two, isn't he? No, Venom's the second zero. Was he? Yeah, Bell Tower is the second one. You do Sandman, then Venom, and oh, then Mysterio, Mansion and... No, not Mansion Tank. It's Sinister Six. Yeah, I don't, I don't oh. even think they follow the format. It's usually one is the easiest, and the last one's the hardest, and I feel like the stuff in the middle varies from box to box. Except for the X-Men. Mutant Genesis was definitely not that way. The first one was definitely not the easiest. Sure. 
Um, but I think that's like kind of the formula, and that's like yeah, yeah. kind of true in Lord of the Rings. That's like first in the box is easiest, last one's the hardest, and then the last one of the complete cycle is the hard, hardest in the cycle. Hardest, hardest. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, but no, I'm having fun with it. Um, we're not going to do a full review yet. We will review it in a couple weeks probably. Um, but I've got some stuff. I still have plenty of content for the podcast, so I figure we'll save it for when the podcast needs it and then we'll do our okay. review and, and we'll probably do it on a shorter mission as well. Or maybe we don't even do a mission that week. Um, I do know, actually we do have a Marvel champion spoiler coming from the new box. I don't know the date though. I should have probably looked this up ahead of time. Um, that's fine. <laughs> but we do have one coming before the release they're gonna send us just spoiler cards so we'll probably do it before our normal stream nice uh well that'll be fun um they've spoiled a good amount but um there's still a lot we don't know so well hopefully it's Um, more exciting than the last one not want to be uh don't want to be a down because our last one was like heal too it it just very it just varies a lot right like not th- there's workhorse cards and there's like super exciting ones and you don't always yeah. get the so it's not gonna be till july 28th um, oh yeah that's a ways away um yeah so we've got time because they said the week of that week 23rd through the 31st so there'll be spoilers that entire week is what i'm guessing um so we'll be one of the later ones but i wanted to match it up with our normal stream like we did last time gotcha. so um yeah so we'll do it the 28th. Nice. Um, so I guess, like, uh, how's this compared to your experience playing with Mike and, I guess, like, just the core set, right? That's all you've played before? So it's obviously um, every game has been close, which is exciting, which makes it much more fun to play. Um, my experience with Mike, I guess we were doing the Hobbit cycle, but, like, I don't know. We had ridiculous Dwarven decks, and it wasn't fun. Although, honestly, there's some benefit to those Dwarven decks being so powerful, which is when we get more powerful missions like these, like they, they're still going to be pretty quick, right? Because <laughs> you have a lot of questing and a lot of fighting with them. Um, so I guess there is a benefit to that. Um, you know, it makes the game shorter. So if you're just trying to get through the story, whatever else. I mean, we could also play easy mode theoretically as well, right? We're playing normal um, if we wanted stuff to go a little faster. But I am enjoying myself. But I also think it feels longer. And maybe it's the interface, right? Like it, it might just be getting used to dragon cards or whatever. Whereas Marvel... Like I... I am enjoying there, what one one of the biggest complaints in Marvel Champions was that is one of the big reasons I like Dragon Cards a lot for Lord or not Marvel Champions, for Lord of the Rings is the bookkeeping the like questing mathing is annoying to do like people don't like that part of the game it just feels like math. Um, yeah, but I don't mind it. Like I'm good at math, so <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Well, it's not even math. It's just like counting. You you like you always have to count. Like one of the things that happens a lot in a four player game is that if someone gets distracted during questing, like people give their numbers in, you always have to like recount and you have to like recount again. Uh, like oh, like do we add the plus one from this thing from this trigger from like that weather card that came out? Uh, and it's nice to kind of just have it all calculated. Yeah, um, I mean it's like nineteen over and it, yeah. The big thing for me is. First of all, I, I, I'm getting better at knowing the shift whatevers. But is there a go back button, by the way? Like, uh, if you mess I don't, up? I don't think so, but, like, you have the log in the bottom right that tells you exactly what you did. Yeah. And so it's, like, kind of easy to undo what you just did unless you deleted a card. But even at that point, you can just spawn that exact card again. All right. Do you want to reveal any news from stuff you're working on, or is it too far away, or is it not public yet? Uh, I don't know if it's my news to share because it's like it's dependent on other folks. So uh, okay, we can talk when it gets closer. 
All right. So uh, we won't share any other news uh, right now, but uh, I think this is good. I, I'm still forming opinions, which is good that we don't have to review it quite yet. Um, yeah, I don't think it's I, I think you should do a whole cycle. Uh, so the campaign stuff is new to me and and I've been enjoying the two we've done. Like I didn't actually didn't do the campaign of uh, the core set that they've done. I have printed it out, but I haven't played it. Um, um, now, but, does that include the two other missions? Like, does the campaign carry over to those two missions uh, you could from buy the separate? core set? Yes. Um, from the two player. I don't. I forget the name. Don't, of it. The darker Mirkwood. Yeah. Um, I thought it did, but I could be wrong about that. Um, I mean, because I guess full transparency, I still haven't bought into the game yet. Um, and part I mean, of technically, it, I technically still own it all. So. Well, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't uh, mind playing online stuff. Northwood Pass, part one, part two, part three. It looks like it's just the core set. Uh, but I'll be honest. Part of the reason I haven't bought into it yet is because um, I have a bunch of games I want to trade in. And I'm just going to trade it in and, and with the value I get from those games, buy in everything at once. You know what I mean? Rather than spending yeah. cash and then trading it in and then trying to figure out what to buy later down the road, I just want to, when I get that money, but I'm too lazy to trade in my games now. Is <laughs> like, yeah. I haven't, I haven't figured that part of it out. So I plan, I fully plan on buying everything. I mean, I mean, you've owned it multiple times at this point. So, <laughs> well, yes, but no, I, I do want to support publishers. I am fully of the thought where if you're going to play something online like this, then you should own everything you're playing with. Um, and I know between the two of us, we own everything. And usually that's okay with me. And it is now as well, because if we were live in person, we could be playing this exact same thing with all the cards you have. So I, I, it doesn't bother me in that way, but I still feel like because I'm getting enjoyment out of it, I should support the publisher. Um, but I'm going to do that basically when I trade in all my games, which is a huge undertaking for me. Um, Mike is somebody who calls very easily and doesn't mind doing it and has all the, you, you just have to call the games Mike gives you, right? I mean, some of them are games Mike's given <laughs> like that. I'm calling. I mean, the, the joke is like Mike calls a game and I'm just like, isn't that just at Peter's house? He's like, yes. <laughs> well, yeah. When he does shelf stories, it's hilarious. Cause he's like, yeah, I got rid of this and this and this. And I'm like, wait a minute, you got rid of that. So it's mine now. What is going on? Um, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I literally told Mike and Jerry, I'm like, I will give you 90% of the profit if you just get these games out of my house. Like, just sell them. I'm like, I don't care. I'll take 10% cut. You could take 90% if you just sell them. Get rid like, of them. I don't want to do yeah, it. I, like, I yeah, got, I was, I got uh... a huge stack of, like, 10 deep games, like, that's covering an entire wall of my house that I'm just like, I got to get rid of these things. Um, I love board games, but... Like, I don't know. I think we all get into this habit where you just overbuy stuff, right? When you first get into the hobby, whatever else, or I yeah. mean, certainly. Yeah, I'm, I'm much more selective now. Um, What's well, worse but... for us, too, because we just get free games all the time. And like, well, that's some... you. I, I, I don't have this problem. <laughs> well, but some of the free games I got are like when you go into store on a certain holiday, you get a free game or whatever. Or when you go to Gen Con. Well, I guess that's also part of being a reviewer. Like, we go into these, like, show us some games things, and, like, I'm looking for one or two co-op games. Yeah, now. I remember yesterday, or not yesterday, last year, you are just, like, you had this bag of games. You're like, I went to talk to this publisher, and they gave me all this stuff. I'm right, like, and, that none stuff of, good? and, like, none more co-op games. Like, that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, like, none dude, more I don't need these, but they just give them to you anyway, and I'm like, whatever. Like, I'm not going to review your games better. Like, we're not... And, and like, or review look, them because they're not co-op games. <laughs> right. Well, but that's the funny thing. Like, I am literally now, they are causing me stress because I got to get rid of these things. Right? Like, I would literally give them away for free, but I don't want to, like, throw them in the trash. So, like, it's, I don't know. It's, it's. I mean, maybe you should just give them away on the channel. But nobody wants them. <laughs> okay. I mean, they're not, like, bad games. I remember the ones you got from last year. Um, I mean, they're, some they're of just, them. Might Very, they're just various competitive games, right? But then I got to ship the them, one. and I got to pay for shipping. So now, for this free game I got, I got to pay to ship it to somebody else. 
Yeah, but that person got enjoyment out of it, right? Hopefully. I mean, hopefully, if they... but if they were really that good at games, I probably would have played them myself, I feel like. And are we it's really going to give away competitive games? Like, that seems weird, right? I mean, I guess we could. I don't know. You guys tell me what I should do with all these, like... I mean, there aren't that many... Like, the big ones I'm getting rid of... Like, I'm getting rid of Viticulture 1st Edition, because we got 2nd Edition now. Like, so why would I still have that? Like, I got the big whatever that I kick-started. Um, the other one is uh, Zombicide. People would probably want Invasion or whatever. But that's like four giant boxes. I definitely don't want to ship that anywhere. Um, but I got like, you know, whatever Kickstarter pledge level that was. Like, I think it was one of the lower pledge levels. And it's still four giant boxes. Of yeah, but, but that's Simon, right? Like, it's always yeah. a giant box. Yeah. Uh, but I got that whole thing and I played it like twice. <laughs> you know, it's like barely played. Um, so those are the big, uh, uh, the, the cell phone one, cell phone ink or whatever. That one people probably would want. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else, but anyway, like, like those are the major ones I think people would actually care about. Um, sure, but I'm getting uh, rid of like dungeon crossmaster, not crossmaster. There's a dungeon crawl one that does have solo co-op in it, uh, but it was originally a head-to-head -head game. It's another Simon one, but like one of their old school ones. Um, they, yeah, I, I feel like every time I go to Colin's house, I come home with stuff. Yeah. I think his wife just wants it out of his house. Oh, like I said, I want this stuff out of my house. Like, I, yeah, literally. And again, not that gaming is bad, but I do think there is a culture of overbuying in board games. Like, you don't well, need there's a lot, lot of stuff with hype and, and other stuff. That's how stuff sells, right? Right. Um, anyways, I, I guess it's a bit off topic. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm glad you're having fun. I, I think the campaign is better than I thought it'd be for a, like a free thing that they're basically adding on. Um, sure. Uh, like I like the extra loss condition. Like it's a thing you have to think about more with chomping and taking damage. Um, yeah, I mean, it hasn't come in that much because we don't really, like we both have defending heroes. Like specific heroes that are assigned to that. But if I was to make, or like if I was to play Rohan deck, or not Rohan, uh, the Gondor deck, they definitely rely on Chumpers a lot more. So that it would come into play more. Um, and maybe you specifically designed the decks knowing full well that we need defenders because of this side quest, right? I did see it. Yes, it was. Uh, I did see that. Um, but in general, I think a lot, like unlike Marvel Champions, def Chumping is generally not the favorite tactic uh like there are so decks that get do a defending it hero or defending ally or something right like there are beefy allies you can defend with um right. but you have to have a plan for defense and unlike marvel where your allies go away when your allies go away in this game you're losing board state right yeah uh and so it's like really different because allies are like your upgrades and supports and other things, right? Like they're the ones that are kind of beefing all your stuff up um, as well. And so it's usually part of the plan. Um, and I yeah, think- Yeah, to, to get this huge board of allies. Now, Rohan's a little different, which is why I think they're harder to play. Um, I, I think it makes it more fun. You get that choice though, right? Right. I do think you end up not building up as much because of that choice though. Because every time I chose to put an ally in play, it cost me a card draw and it cost me- resources whereas normally i'm just putting stuff in for free and drawing cards because of it um no yeah. i mean literally last turn of the game here i had one card i could play in my hand of five cards so that yeah that's not great either ideal um yeah i i made some adjustments to kind of help with that like i did put rod in and i put multiple copies so you could get it at some point in the game right because uh, there's two copies because you kind of want to get it by mid game. What is you it? You may not need in there. Rod of the Steward. Oh yeah, yeah. And I and I got both of them. That that's one of the useless cards in my hand. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, but yeah, I mean, being able to having Steward and being able to turn resources into card draw is, seems good. Yep. Um, 
And so, uh, you know, it's not perfect, but it's some card draw. It's not Marvel Champions. No, no, no. And honestly, draw. I asked you for a Rohan deck, right? And this is yeah. exactly that. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, it's way better than the pre-con they did. But honestly, it's not that much different from the pre-con at the same time. I feel like there are some really super powerful cards that are like not pre-con, which are like Firefoot, uh, Goosewine. Although that one might have been in there. I'm trying to remember. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it, it's sad because Firefoot, I think, comes with the pack that you bought normally, not in the pre-con. Like, it's literally his horse. Like, the name of his horse is Firefoot. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. So it's, Is it really not in the pre-con? I know that's what you said. So, I, uh, that seems weird, right? Yeah, I, I would assume it's if you have Aomer there. Uh, I assume it's in the precon because let me like look. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna look at the precon real quick, and then we're getting off. That is not what I was looking for. This is what I'm looking for. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I think the core of it, I. You know, it should be very similar. Like, it is built around Lothariel, putting stuff into play, having allies leave. That's obviously, like, the core concept. Yep. Um, but I think, obviously, the big stuff that I have in here are more card draw um, to try to be more um, consistent, right? Uh, and, yeah, having Guthwine and stuff to Fire be able to even use there, it. Just, by the way. Um, is Guthwine in there? Which... The, the ally, the sword, the sword. Oh, the G purple. You, it's an attachment. No. Yeah. There's a war axe yes. though. Yeah, get, getting his attack up is is nice, but I think having the like the overkill, uh, like no, the firefoot's the overkill. The ability to like pull cards from your discard gives you another ability to like keep your your hand full of stuff that you can kind of dump every turn, right? And actually, the war axe might be better or no it's the same i guess well it's better if you can ready aomer it's worse if you can't ready aomer no then the then the other sword the other sword yeah, i guess so Guth, pulls an ally is the benefit but the guth can only be used once so if you can attack twice then I gotcha. the war axe is better right like so if you had like a war horse that ready well him, the war axe is also plus one attack for each um restricted yeah, and so exactly. unless you're running, like, Golden Belt, that gives you a third restricted slot, then... Well, but what's your second restricted on him anyway? Um, it, uh, Firefoot. No, Firefoot's one. War Axe is not restricted. Oh, it is restricted. You're right. It is restricted. So, yeah. yeah. So, Firefoot and that is plus two. So, really, you're losing the draw, but you're getting it on every attack, which doesn't matter. Unless you can red him, right? I mean, Red Arrow is kind of nice. Um, it would have given me plus one questing or cunning or whatever it's called. No, red arrow is great. Um, doesn't it cost three? Uh, cost one. Cost one. Um, and you attach just it to like, Gondor, which obviously you do to Lothariel. Lothariel. Um, what does it like, do? Val response. After attach hero quest successfully, add the red arrow to the victory display to search the top five cards of the deck for an ally and put it into play. So you have to discard it, but it's an optional thing. I mean, one more question yeah, and, for and, one. Valor means you have to get to threat 40, and you are at you only ended the game at 42. No, that's a Valor response, though, but you can still attach it to her for yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just one saying cost like, for one extra questing. I, th I feel like that one should be in this deck. What, what do you take out for it, though? I mean, you take out one of your whatevers that you don't care about. one of the allies or whatever. So it has Fastrid. Um, Fastrid's kind of nice. So Fastrid's nice, but he's not good if you aren't doing staging shenanigans. Yeah, so he returns stuff to the staging area to reduce your threat by two. Um, but it also has Gandalfs in it. Which, you're right, I don't know that it needs. I mean, Gandalf's just a great all-around hero. It's a good way, or not hero, ally. Especially if you have Denethor, you can, um, you know, pay the resources for it. 
right. I just kind of went for more Rohan allies. Uh, I mean, it, it's like champions, right? Like, there's so many cards. There's so many good cards. But it like, enters play after Gandalf enters play. So you can enter his play with Lothriel? No. He's not he's not Rohan. Or Gondor. Right. Alright, I get or it. Or Noble. So he doesn't he doesn't trigger with Lothriel, but you can hard pay for him, or you could run sneak attack, right? Like you can definitely make tweaks to the deck if you want Gandalf, but it it just changes the ratios of stuff, right? I leaned you were like, I want Rohan, so I leaned very hard into Rohan uh, yep. with some no, Gondor I'm glad Slash. You did. Uh, and that's this is the deck that I came out with, but like you can yeah, definitely... no Horn of the Mark is by the way also in there. Yeah, um, they only put two copies though. No, there's and then three. The third copies in the back. Yeah, yeah, third copies in the back though. I mean, but I'm copies. just saying it's this deck is actually comparable to the deck you made, but. The problem I've had with it is I started with uh, Hirgon in, and you. Well, need if it. you have if you have Hirgon, you don't have a Dead Defender. If you yeah, have that's Fastrid, what I'm saying. You need to put uh, Fastrid in. If you have Fastrid, you have a ability that is weird because you aren't attacking staging. Um, do you, you have lose to access. do it? Do you have no? It's to? you don't have to, but like. At that, why do you care if he's Rohan just because of Rohan at that point? Like, like no, I guess no, mechanically I'm just saying because he comes with a deck. I'm just trying to figure out a way for people. Oh, yeah, to yeah. not have to buy extra stuff to make a deck close to what we are playing. Yeah, uh, yeah, you could use Fastrid. I, I think you lose access to leadership and stuff. Well, you lose uh, access so you to get... Gondor and uh, the whatchamacallit is the real big thing. The uh, well, Stuart. well, le- leadership. Leadership means you don't have Destrier, so you could replace that with Unexpected Courage. Like, I'm just talking about if you want with Faster, right? Like, um, the other hard thing for you is Faster has three defense, but you want a way to probably get that up higher. So, like, you're going to start looking at... Uh, and this just deck aren't has as many... no, no armor or defense. Yeah, so, like, you're stuck with that three defense, but, like, how much did you want, you know, five, right? Like... You just feel a lot more comfortable with that. So so that's kind of the weakness there. Um, and I think if you go with Spirit, which you don't have access to with the Precon, but, like, if you just have access to Spirit, I think you start looking at, like, the one ring, right? I think we talked about that because you get access to that one inner courage or strength or something that gives you plus one defense. And then you can raise your threat by one. Been nice, though, which is in here. Until the end of the phase, yeah. all Rohan characters get plus two to their questing. That's yep. real good. It uh, is three cost. Yeah, it's but, expensive. Usually I'll do like a one of or something of, of like end game like yeah. cards. Um, oh, they're, yeah, they do have fourth, uh, fourth or longer. Aerolingus. Yeah. Aerolingus. Heroes can be declared as attacker against enemies in the staging area this phase. Yeah, it's an event though, and you can do faster to return. It's just like yeah, it's just a weird combo, right? Like, well, faster in the course moves two, right, or, or reduce your two, threat two by threat. two. So but then you you're just putting it, it back in staging, and you're not clearing it, right? Well, like, if you, you can't it attack it that turn, but it still puts the threat back in staging, is the hard part. Yeah, you don't hold yeah. it. Um, so so like I still think that pack is a great pack. You get access to a lot of good cards. Um, if you want to play faster in the core set, you do get Dune here who can attack staging. Um, does it come with spears in that deck? I don't see, What is it called? It's an attachment? Uh, yeah. Spear there, of the Mark? Yeah, Spear of the Marks. Yep. So you can put you can put two... You can put Spear of the Marks on Dune here to give him plus, plus four two. attack, I think. Oh, you put two of one. them on. Yeah. Because they're restricted, right? It's not yep. limit. Yep. So you can put two of them on. He'll hit for six. So like that's like a good combo. They're both spirit heroes. So you just need to find a tactics hero. To kind of pair with that and then you have uh your main attacker you have a defender and then with tactics you potentially have access to uh, uh armors and stuff so like you can do a thing like that but um you're probably somewhat limited by the number of tactics heroes that can quest well there's like one that most people think of that right. hasn't been reprinted yet but tactics Eowyn has the same stat line as spear Eowyn, so 
she's actually a four willpower one. She's kind of a go-to in tactics because she has access to that. Right. Um, but yeah, you could then do, you could basically have a little slow start for questing and maybe pair with a questing deck um, on the other side. Uh, but then you could basically do more ally swarm and less of the Lothario like allies come and leave play, right? Sure. Um, I was just so trying like to figure a, out a way to use what we have here, right? Like, yeah, and, well, that's and what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I think that get that's just core set. So if you don't have tactics A one, that's just core set plus that precon that you buy, right? Like, I think if you mix the core set with that, you can get Fastrid and Dune here. Like, you have both of those heroes and those cards that you need to do it, right? And then, and then you have access to a bunch of pretty decent Rohan allies, right? And then. You can just put them in to, to like, oh, yeah. it comes bolster with, your... Uh, 34 allies. Yeah, exactly. So, like, you, and and mo a lot of them are spirit, right, um, as well. And so you Blue you and can, red are the main two. So, so you get, act like, you're going to play blue and red to get the spears, right? So yep. you're going to have one red at hero or tactics hero. You'll have two spirit heroes. So you'll lean more towards spirit, um, and that's where most of your questing is going to be. So you're going to make up your questing with ally spam, and you're going to have access to cards, like you said, like Astonishing Speed. So in the mid to late game, you'll be able to quest pretty well, and then you have a dedicated attacker and defender. By the way, they only have one red arrow in this deck. Oh, it's limit one it's per a deck. It's limit one per deck. Well, because it's so cheap. I mean, I, I would think it'd be worth throwing in for one. Yeah, I might mess I mean, with if you're the gonna... deck you made for me. Not much, but like... A little. You throw it in, it's just like, it's also like, sure, I guess. Like, if you throw one of, it's like, you may or may not draw Well, remember, it, I guess. because you're questing, if you get the other cards you need early, you can search for it early. When you have that one thing we clear. Turn one, right? Gather? You shouldn't burn a gather on that card. I mean, plus one questing the rest of the game? If it's I mean, literally, mission. like, like, just as a comparison... The horse breeder is also plus one questing for the rest of the game if you choose not to chump with her. But you have the choice to chump with her. Yeah. Also right. searches for a horse. So, like, which ally are you taking out that is not unique, right? That you could dump and play that you would put in for that. Right. right like I, I think that's the decision. So the, so the benefit of it is you can use it to bring an ally and play, but that's only late game. When it's too yeah. late anyway, and you've already got your most. Well, I don't know if it's too late. Anyway. Like you run a quest that dooms you a lot or something, uh, whatever. But it, I think it's it's like it sounds great on paper to have permanent plus one questing, but th your allies also do that, right? Yeah, no, so, that's a good point. And you know me, I'm I'd rather ally swarm. I mean, it's been it's been great, right? You had the choice to discard her anytime that orc came out. If you had the you know that attachment, the red arrow. You would have had to discard Morwen, you know, or take yeah. another encounter card. No, and... no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right, man. It's been it's way too late. I love these discussions we have, but um, it's two in the morning here, and I literally have to work tomorrow morning. So cool. Um, thanks everybody for joining us. Um, mostly Matthew Rose and Stacy. Those are the two that did the most commenting. So we'll shout them out. Uh, but thank you so much, everybody who joined us and who watches this in the future. And, you know, it was fun as always, Terrence. I, I always have fun playing with you. Yep. Always a pleasure to play with you, Peter. All right. Well, have a good night and we'll see you all next. Well, actually, uh, we'll talk offline, but yeah. we might not be playing next week. That's fine. All right. Talk yeah. to you soon. Bye. Right, bye.